and salutations, friends. Now I, uh, I know I said I would go through the whole running away from the gene stealer thing off screen, but, uh, it turns out that, you know, uh, three, four days to, to do it I in just, just isn't enough monkey. time, as it turns out. Things, things take time in this universe of ours, I okay? I understand your intent. So we're probably gonna need to go through all I of that again. your fortune favors the swift. They also apparently, um, gave out free re-rolls, uh, not re-rolls, but, uh, uh, re-specs to everyone because they, they changed the spec thingies, Me. um, <laughs> apparently. If I may. Which no. makes me wonder, is this an Let MMO now all of a sudden? Is, uh, do, do, we, do we require re-specs for everything? But before that, I also wanted Come to show you these. New rat bricks. Don't worry, I'll, I'll remember Oi. to show you the screen at some point. It's fine. These are the rat bricks from our uh, not bidding war over Idira or Idara. Where uh, the victorious rat brick, Fenrir, which is the one at the front there with the little uh, victor's laurels now, managed to keep Idira alive against vehement opposition. Everyone was against him, and yet he somehow managed to keep Idira alive. So we have him to thank. This battlefield air is good for, for every my time she blows up half of my team. <laughs> it's very lovely. Very lovely indeed. I think they turned out pretty good. Yeah, I like them. A little Mordian rat brick, a fire warrior, a Tanya the evil rat brick, and a Bretonian knight rat brick. Yeah, and they look pretty good. Ah, that doesn't close that, does it? Well, I mean, do you need to see the entire screen? Is, isn't part of the screen good enough? <laughs> right, I'll hide that too. There you go. Uh, don't worry about why Argenta is suddenly so low health, by the way. It's God a minor Emperor, friendly fire me. accident. It, the fire in my heart. it happens significantly more frequently than you might think. Guess we'll kick in the rapid fire there as well. Go on, Idolet. You can you can go up ahead. I'm sure From nothing bad ashes, will happen to you. I will rise. Why? You're on fire pretty bad, aren't you? You're on fire like really bad, actually. Is um oh yeah, you've got healing, there don't you, Idolet? There is movement in the Empyrean. There you go. I knew there was a reason why Anything Fenrir is. wanted you alive. Yay! Hit points. Now, I can make you burn forever, but I can't actually turn off your burning, so... Actually, hold on. I can turn off your burning, can't I? Not a problem God, it's, for it's me. been so long since I've needed to deal with somebody being on fire. Um... All too easy. Aha! There you go. Suits my purposes. I knew there was a way to stop people from being on fire. I just wasn't entirely I know sure what I'm how. Doing, usually. This really makes me want to play Space Hulk Ascension, by the way. Like, really badly. Like, really, really badly. Hmm. The enemies of the Emperor will be undone! But it's such an old game. It, it is such a painfully old game. It is such an actually unironically painful old game. As the Emperor commands, I act. It is, it is not financially viable to play games like Space Hulk Tactic. I don't think it ever was. Fire I am his mastery. will made manifest. Right, let's... Let's just... I'll do it. Right, I thought that would allow me to shoot you. Does that not allow me to shoot you? I thought... I don't know. You, there you go. Another one? No? Is that not what that does that anymore? Is not the Emperor's will. Apparently not. As well, I can shoot you again for more stacks of... Faith without... Versatility, I guess. Doubt is for the weak. As the Emperor See, this is why I was chosen. It seems like this is how you kind of need to you play Argenta. Emperor. Like, you need to use her, like, her, her like, thingity, thingity thing. Uh, which I don't understand, mind you. I don't actually understand how her thingity thing works. But I know she has a thingity thing where she builds versatility Swift stacks when she shoots people. And it makes her attacks a lot more dangerous, as you know, demonstrated by the fact that she was hitting for, like, 30 damage a pop there. And I wish I knew how that worked, but I don't, so, meh. <sighs> if I must. No, we 
weakness is hidden yeah. from my sight. Not bad, not bad. Step aside. The navigator is coming. I do need something to I play tomorrow, though, as uh, D and D servitor. is off. Uh, it, not, not permanently, mind you. It's I'm just that Sargon needs to, to go to Swindon and have his uh, weekly lives. massage, of course, given to him by only the finest Isn't and most obese Turkish barbers in Swindon, of course. It's, uh, it's a weekly tradition for Sargon, you know. He goes over there, has himself a powerful Turkish coffee and gets his uh, shoulders kneaded by big, burly, hairy what? Turkish immigrants. Was that you? Or At least I presume that's what he's doing. So D and D is still live. It's just not uh, not next week. So I guess I'll play maybe some enlisted tomorrow. I don't know something. I'll come up with something because I am sure I am going to get the question. Where's D and D? Many many times. In righteous fury. Many many times. Right. Does your versatility stack stay or? They kind of stay. Like that was a that was a fair bit of damage, wasn't it? Now if I switch over to that now, I can't shoot, right? No, I need run and gun. Okay, so to make the best out of that, I really need a better run and gun, don't I? Just designate a target. To like make that work properly. Oh, are we? Are we? Oh, I wanted the no, I wanted to shoot him. XP. Oh. All right. Well, I mean, I lived, I guess. So that's nice. Living is okay as well, I guess, maybe. Uh, Robert Walters, $50. Thank you very much, sir. Very generous. Uh, soon, uh, uh, as a son of Magnus and a child of Prospero, I demand the hypocritical dog suffer for the crimes they committed to my brothers and homeworld. Ah, we're assuming the, the con condemned space wolf, are we? All right, very well. So, Space Marine. Get Space Marine is currently sitting at $80. Uh, let Space Marine Yif in Hell with that is now sitting at a hundred and nineteen dollars. So, service guaranteed. Space citizenship. Marine is currently doomed to suffer eternally in the depths of Komarog. And incidentally, let's see. Do I need to have sex with the Dark Eldar anymore? No. Have sex with the Dark Eldar is currently fifty-five dollars against and uh, twenty dollars towards. So. I lose the uh, I lose the fluff, but I don't have to be inside of an Eldar's asshole, so that's good. Is tomorrow Wednesday? Tomorrow isn't Wednesday. I've determined. Right, so that's the spi that's the planet that sends me to God only knows where. Should I click that? I shouldn't click that yet, should I? I shouldn't click that yet. I need the sacred artifact or whatever. I need the sacred artifact. Right, well, I can still go over here and apparently find the Eldari cache. Well, that sounds pretty cute. Let me do that. Right, Oof. Mm, Long lost secret in places. An unidentified, unidentified object has been located in the system. The artifact reacts to our transmission by releasing unknown radiation, most likely of Xeno origin. The COGS are reporting. If you want to get a closer look, we need to close the distance between the vessel and the object. Right. Hallucinogenic blade. That looks pretty sweet. A nice little fog world, presumably populated by monsters. No? There we are. Oh. That's a little bit unfortunate. I hope that we've been populated by creatures out of a, uh... What's that dude that makes the really shitty, uh, shitty book adaptations all the time? I don't remember his name now. He made some really terrible horror movies. He made the one that was called The Fog, and it was really, 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 really bad. He apparently writes, uh, like, nice stories about, like, pedophile clowns and stuff. I don't understand it, but that's apparently what he does. At first it looked like the snowy and desolate planet was devoid of surprises, but the yellow and orange flickering of the lumens and the notifications from the Augur system informed the officers there was a small colony that survived in spite of the harsh climate conditions. All attempts to hail the colony have failed. 
All right, check it out. The explorators report the dismal conditions of the settlement and its inhabitants. Their skin is translucent and pale. Their icy blue eyes see particularly practically no color. Their language is rough and guttural, and their stomachs cannot tolerate anything except a stew made from local roots and mosses. And yet they are subject of the Imperium, still loyal to the Emperor. They have mistaken your people for his emissaries. Service guarantees citizenship. Right. Okay, find out what happened. The local elders will flirt reminisce about the times long ago. Most of them were still sheltered in their mother's wombs when the first settled, uh, first known settlement felt. Hail Heresy ruined the crops and frost hardened the soil. The <laughs> Plants and large bees that could not stay in the sense were the first to go. They were soon followed by birds and other small animals. Most people in large cities perished, unable to warm themselves and their families. A sudden onset fucking ice age. Jesus. They say the governor and his entourage left the world in the first days of winter, taking all the provisions and fuel with them. No one responded to the pleas from this dying world. The stars remain deaf to the message transmitted by the plants of Vox stations. These are banned subjects of the Imperium, still managed Service to save the machines and other valuables, but they were of little use without supply of Prometheum. In it, those who survived eventually adapted to the tribulations that the God Emperor had bestowed upon them. Well, I kind of want to give them Prometheum, because, like, there's Prometheum right there. I, I feel as if I could just, you know, mine it for them, but... Uh, okay, well, I, I, you give me no choice. I'm going to take your stuff from you and leave. Your people had little difficult subduing the locals. Nobody had the strength to resist. Gaunt had exhausted by their miserable lot. They dolefully watched one as the invaders carried away the wealth, the machines, and possession laboriously scourged together by generations of their ancestors. Shuttle glutted with their society's toil, soared high above the oppressed clouds, far out of reach. There was nothing left to help them survive. But who cares about other people's misery? Well, normally I do. I was going to help them, but you were like, no. Fine. This is a final insult. I'm going to mine the Prometheum on the planet now, too. Like, I have Prometheum. I was going to help them. It's like, yes, no, you do, you know. But I wanted to video game. No. Let them freeze to death. It's Frostpunk now. Uh -huh. Right, that was a depressing start to things. <clears throat> uh, Sujard, did you try Helldivers 2 with Kibbs? If so, thoughts? Recruit Puppy. Rec <laughs> Recruit Puppy, very well. Uh, no, I have not tried it with Kibbs. And Kibbs has recently betrayed Arch. Kibbs is going to have to wait a lot longer Fire before we play Helldivers. <laughs> Plus, Helldivers is popular. I don't like popular things. Right, Fire more for Puppy. Black 1917, Hail Arch Christ, our Lord and Savior. Get Space Marine. Twenty dollars. Thank you very much, sir. Okay. That brings it a uh, a lot closer. Cry Kurt Curtis Thompson, not Christ Thompson, donating to preserve Archer's soul and person against the vile machinations of the Dark Eldar. Head to gross from idleness, so stay vigilant, Lord Captain. Your eternal servant is blessed to serve. Thank you very much. But my butthole is at the moment still safe from Dark Eldar intrusions. I'm glad of this. Robert Wadsworth, $30. Thank you very much. Let the space wolf suffer. <laughs> I don't know why people don't like the space wolf. What did he do to people? Was he a furry? I guess he was. And Vulture 1066, you cannot save Arch. He is from the East. I wish I was from the East. At least then I'd get to enjoy anime and manga and stuff. I would enjoy that. I never. I would have fun with that. All right, so let's check out the Hulk first, I guess. That just gives me ship components. I'll take it. Okay, giant mysterious ring-like object floating in space. I've seen enough Halo to know where this is going. No signal. Lookout, bridge, we have an unknown object dead ahead. Not an asteroid, clearly artificial in nature, but it's larger than Footfall Station. Bridge, copy that. Report relayed to officer on duty and pilots. Lookout, expect visual soon. We have visual. What the incoherent curse words, no doubt. This is Voxmaster. I'm adding the pilot senior officer and Lord Captain to this channel. His lordship wishes to assume personal command. Assuming personal control. Look out, Lord Captain, we have requested intel on the object from the Augur Array module awaiting their response. Alright, Lord Zenos. A webway gate. Oh, well, that's... 
normally not just hanging about in space unguarded, but very well. Off the station, Fan Kalox here. What we see before us is a webway gate, an artifact that Xenos used to go to get get to their source's realm, so to speak. I mean, yes, close enough. It allows the Eldar, not the Eldari, to get around the sector quickly and serves as a hideout for their most unpleasant tribe, the Drukari, whom we have already met. Yes and no, but oh, getting lost in the details here. Off the station, Idolet here. This gate is just like the one you saw on Lilathan. The children of Assyrian wander the void through such constructs erected in ancient times. Any ship that passes through such a portal will enter a tangle of paths, fathomable to none but my kind. Is there an auger report? According to available data, the object consisted of an unknown material foreign to the Imperium. We are registering an unknown class of energy profile. The entrants here are at a loss about how this technology works exactly. They did specify that the in energometer suggests that the system is holding an active charge. The object appears ready to do whatever it is designed to do. Go inside of it! Every hole's a goal. Forward, forward men, now. Uh, activate it. Bridge, requesting a response from the Engineerium. Apologies, Lord Captain, the tech priests have refused even to consider such a possibility. It would be a violation of the Omnicide's tenants and extremely dangerous undertaking. I don't care. Perhaps a certain companion of yours? Even if I knew the secrets of the gate, I would never surrender it to the monkey. The webway is our kin's sacred refuge and a deadly trap to those such as you, Alantark. I'm not going to destroy it. In! In! Every hole's a goal! <sighs> really? I'm not going to shoot it. I want to go inside of it, not hurt it. And it's back on nature. Coach said never go to confirm visual change. The gate is opening. <gasps> like a ginormous vulva in front of me. It's bars, it's secrets, and vomits forth. God only knows what. Generally speaking, Volvers should not eject matter, but there are cases in which this is a positive. Let's see if this is one of those. The litany of ordnance rings out across our decks. Well, not necessarily. Um, Corsair. Immortality denied destroyer? Excusez-moi. All right, well, if you say so, um, we're going to dump the torpedoes Unleash in the water right away, in the void. And head straight towards the closest one. I have this boat with me now. I don't know who it is. I don't know why I have it with me, but... Well, that was easy. Um... Fire the launch batteries! It just kind of hangs out with me, and I've seen no reason to try and, you know, make it leave or anything, so, uh... I guess it's just kind of my friend now. I guess. More donations. Thank you very much. Um, Jonathan Smith, five to Cassie to remain in the Dark Elder torture device. God damn it, this still continues to. Uh, so that one's still $27 to get her out, $20... To keep her in. Robert Wildsworth, to keep Navigator Waifu. Okay, right. Cassia, the adorable cinnamon bun kitten, is safe. Mr. Twizzard Frenzy, $100. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, isn't Mines the reason Big E is stuck in that bloody chair? The nerd got what he deserved. Sp save the space pup. All right. Poor, poor fluffy space wolf. Uh, Robert Wadsworth, Magnus made mistakes, but Lehman Russ was idiotic. Who couldn't follow a simple order either and burned a loyal legion when the Imperium needs them? Make the Space Wolf suffer. And so the Space Wolf was safe for but a single solitary second before his fate was sealed yet again. Thank you very much. Oh, hey. Thank you for placing yourself directly in front of my torpedoes, I guess. I appreciate it. Lay in the course. Poor Space Wolf. No! Okay, wait, hold on. I, I know how to fix this. There. 
Fire My guns magically threat. fire further now. Die. All, All stations, triumphant report when wise. manned and ready. Yeah, I imagine that that was. I imagine that was lost. going to happen. It, that seemed way too easy of an encounter Set to end just like that. You'd this think I'd notice if I randomly down. picked up a small boat companion. Uh, it's from the, the from one of the Da Da Nossus? the Nossus project. Really? Okay. Well. Now I know why it's following me. I suppose. No escape pods detected. No emergency beacon detected. No survivors detected. Get bitch slapped, boy. Annihilate them! Oh no. I feel like I should get some uh, some reaction shots when they emerge. You know. Just to plap them once nicely on the on the face on the noggin. Right, well, little plasma torpedoes, um, just you know, kind of waffle around in the void for a bit, I guess. I don't, uh, I don't, I don't expect I'm going to need you to uh, to deal with this thing, but thank you for your presence, nevertheless. Plap, plap, plap. Fire the launch batteries. Get pregnant with Leldar boat. It's been impregnated with weapon fire. Lord Captain, we have dealt with the void ships of these beasts, but a Xenos boarding party has landed on the ship. They're advancing steadily towards the plasma drive. The enforcers are being overrun. They're asking for reinforcements. If we do not help this, this filth will destroy our vessel from the inside. Burp. Very well. Forward, on to glory and greatness. I wonder what I pay my armsmen for. I genuinely do. Like they can't you take really care of alien your God invasions. Is sitting somewhere on a throne of gold, watching over you. Yes. In fact, Not we know. Not me. The God Emperor cares for all his worthy daughters and sons, but a Xenos like you can hardly be expected to grasp the purity of human faith. That's true. Like, shut up, Idolette. You made gods real, you little bitch face. Okay, come on. You made your gods into tools. Why are you like... It's about time. You truly believe that your god is real? Yes, you should know he's real. In fact, you yourself kind of recognize that he's probably a warp entity. This is not surprising to you. The monkey. Again, I wonder what I'm paying Die the armsmen for. I, re I really I kind of am. Pulse, thing. Yeah, I know. We just went through this <laughs> video game. <laughs> Thank citizenship. you. Alrighty then. I feel like there's never enough cover. Right, Cassia, let's... That is foolishness. Is that too far away? Me? Oh, if you insist, Lord Captain. Oh, that's me. I didn't think that was me. Oh, boy. Well. Oh. Right, well, fair enough. Uh, Nothing aim. I can't do. Come on, I've missed, like, every 95% shot so far, Not so surely a 76 shot's pretty good, right? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I figured. So, female Dark Eldar, capture that one for breeding experimentation. What? <laughs> you know, it frowns. How dare you subjugate my kin to such foul and filthy bestial experiments? Because it's fun, you know, let. is beneath me. Listen. No woman squeals quite as highly or resistantly as a Dark Eldar woman, okay? Once you've got them tied down properly, safely, and securely, they're are actually remarkably docile, you know? You gotta, you gotta bind them up fairly, fairly securely, of course, otherwise you risk all kinds of unfortunate consequences, but so long as correctly trussed and harnessed... Fortune favors the swift. Dark Eldar Puss Puss can be remarkably interesting, okay? You do need to check them for razor blades, however. They do have a nasty habit of shoving those into all kinds of weird orifices. You don't you don't want to just plunge in there on a hope and a dream, believe me. 
Uh, Jonathan Smith, leave Cassie in the dark chamber, but on the, but onto the but on the serious note, Arch, who is your favorite Xenos faction? God, poor little Cassie. That means Cassie's three dollars in the hole right now. And uh, Robert Wadsworth, save Cassie. Oh, never mind. He's fine again. Uh, favorite Xenos faction. Hmm. Say favorite Xenos faction. That's kind of a tough one. See, I used to actually quite like the Eldar because of their obvious is. hypocrisy. Like, because it's, it's a cool, it's a cool defensive mechanism, right? Because we'll the Eldar obviously know that they fucked up with the whole Chaos God thing. So they, of course they know that. Yeah, they're, they're, not, they're not confused as to what they did, but they can't really admit it either, because if they do admit it, then their last shred of superiority kind of disappears, doesn't it? If they actually embrace the fact that, yeah, they fucked up really, really, really incredibly Rejoice badly, in battle. then they don't really have a leg to stand on anymore, you know? I'll Why don't you stop reloading your weapons out of combat? Right. Click, click, click. Uh, As the gun. Emperor commands, I act. Doubt is for the weak. Kabonka, bonka, bonka, bonka. <laughs> You not withstand my vengeance! Oh, another female, eh? God. The slave pins are gonna be fucking overflowing today, it seems. As the Emperor seems. commands, I act. My revenge will be delectable! Uh, if you can stand, that is. I would have preferred to kill it, but... Your aim is really Let bad. Them tremble. Eh, that one's a male. You can kill that one. Throw that one right overboard. Into the airlocks with it. Bring agony. No one here has any uses for male, Dark Eldar. Ugh. I have read tomes of military tactics. Go on, Cinnabon Kitten. Tear their souls out through their I anuses. I am a navigator, not a... Agony! Uh, what a pleasure. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. Cinnabon kitten, Cinnabon kitten, kill, 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 Cinnabon kitten, kill, kill. Isn't this a job for the serfs? I never felt painted black. And Jay, my supposed Xenos specialists. Hmm. I also kind of like the towel. But they've got too much plot tower armor for them to be a favorite. Twenty-six percent chance. Suits I'm sure purposes. I can nail that. Eh, close enough. Nothing I can. And there's do. the Necrons. See, the Necrons. I used to really like the Necrons, but they've gone through too many like straight up like full on rewrites. For me. Your last stroke of luck. Hmm. I think I gotta go with the Orcs, honestly, oh, for easy. favorite Xenos faction, because the Not Orcs problem for me. have managed to maintain something Horror, that Games Workshop have waste. struggled with quite a bit, and that is the you appropriate for this ow, balance of levity and seriousness. See, because the Orcs are funny, Your death is and the Orc do stupid funny things, which I like. <laughs> But they're also dangerous, you know, they- far too many factions in 40k has kind of fallen prey to either becoming super, super serious, like the Dark Eldar more often than not, um, or becoming just kind of jokes. I understand your intent. Sort of kind of like the, um, I don't know if you should stay there. I feel like you might die horribly if you stay there. I don't know if you should. I thought I'd- I kind of queued up a shot for must. you, but... Ancestors guide me! I will tear your heart out for this! I move swiftly I'll to strike! I'll get you cover at least, that'll help out a little bit. And... I reapply that, so I'd like you to actually shoot that person. Old. Well, that looked powerful. You know, I... Because I, I really like the idea of 40k being... A more more of a more of a delicate mix between the two. Like like back in the good old days. 
40 ks always had this thing where it's kind of been vacillating back and forth between taking itself not seriously enough and taking itself far too seriously, if, if that makes a certain amount of sense. Faith without deeds it's kind of weird. Like, you can look at like very early 40k, and As the Emperor commands, it's I act. like fully embraced the Conan the Barbarian style of the day, like the Boris Vallejo style, you know? And it did so actually with a relative degree of seriousness, because it was a very, very horrifyingly and dark world. Excuse me? How did you How did you ma Oh, it's oh, it's a ladder. Well, okay, never mind then. Emperor, give right, me Sorry, I, I didn't I didn't see the ladder there. Can I? I can. Right. Well, cinnamon bun kitten. You know what to do. Me. If you insist. And then death spread across the universe. Can you not? No, the usual problem with angles, I see. I am a navigator, as duty demands. If I may... You call this a strike? <laughs> well, he's still got some balls on him. Good for him. And what then you've that? seen a very, very long but very gradual Harrison, slide towards taking too itself less and less seriously. I can do that with the right incentive. This was honestly kind of what killed like what I'm a fantasy you with the whole ridiculous end this? time things. Oh, I, for some reason I thought you were a friend. Cast I don't know why. You, Which ended with Grimgor Ironhide casually kicking uh, Archon the Ever Chosen in the fucking testicles. That was nothing I can't do. Weird. Suits my and purposes. now we've gone way too far the other way to the point where we've kind of arrived at hope punk almost. Ah, oh, God, I don't like that. Nothing of value 152. Has been lost. Not bad. Not bad at all. That's pretty good, actually. 150. Jesus. Damn. Nothing I can't do. That is quite neato cheeto, if I say so myself. I can do that with the right incentive. Whoa to you. Well, the incentive is, Jay, if you succeed in doing that correctly, you don't die. How's that for incentive? Like, not good enough. I really like the idea I'm of her little whole Akimbo unseen. style. I just wish she wasn't so shit at it. I am not your seat. Oh, I can taste. Right, you almost dead? Am I on a timer? I hope I'm not on a timer, because if I'm on a timer, I feel like I, I wasted a bit too come. much time. I right, just spread his head open. There you go. Guided by faith. Uh, I feel like I'm taking the the long way around. Battlefields are always drowned in scarlet. Go on, little cinnamon bun kitten. Can you reach him yet? Can you? No, but close. Living on the edge. Run, run, run. That was insulting. I don't see a countdown timer, so I'm kind of hoping I'm not about to blow up. And hey, seeing as if he detonates it now, he's going to die too. That will be a problem. Heresy is the question. Fire is the answer. <laughs> really? Damn it. Hmm, okay, so I do need to be faster with this. Is that... Is that like an important failure, or I'll lay claim to the stars. is that okay? I don't, I don't know. Let's roll, roll, we'll roll with it for now. Yeah, there we go. Hi there. No, no, no. What is he? Where is my son? I don't know. Who are you? Uh, from the kiss, it is a symbol of one of the middle deck, one of the signatures of the command. Okay, um. Yeah, your crew is not stationed here. Tactic is my boy Swamp Devils. Dragged him off. I'm where I'm supposed to be looking for my son. What? Does he have a boy? I showed them where the Swamp Devils dragged Tacticus. If they ask me, I'll make sure word next time. I believe this monkey is not here by chance. He has been in the clutches of the Dark Ones. His current state may be bitter fruit of time spent alongside those masters of torment and madness. 
Your son is not here. What? No, no, there's still hope. Tacticus can have fallen into the devil's hand. Tacticus is the name of uh, Raboot Gilliman, by the way. The guards will save him. They have to. Emperor, preserve us. What is this nightmare sheen? I was leading the Emperor's guards to the Swamp Devils' nests across the marshland to my homeworld, but instead of that, I was sh shown the way to them. Hallucination, sir. Heretical mirage. Okay, so he guided the Dark Elder to the Plasma Court, I guess. The guards, they weren't very chatty. One of them called me something strange. Monkey, I think? And I heard them talking among themselves. Something about seizing the ship. Don't let them through. Through to where? I don't know. Oh, it's coming over me again. Love the reactor bay, damage the engines, then disembowel the helpless ship to your Zeno's heart content. Oh yes, that sounds just like my partners. Those words, Lord Captain, don't let them through. Have set my little voices singing. I hear them sing by the fine thread that leads to the hearts of your territory. I heard them singing of Dargonus, a black dragon. Could it be Dracon, who sent us here to this rendezvous? My, my, a Xenos who eviscerates human worlds has set a trap for us instead of meeting us in an honest duel. How unexpected. You let this heart seen as the very heart of this vessel and almost killed us. I'm sorry, it's all a Xenos illusion. Even now, I can see the marshes where Tacticus vanished just behind you. Whatever they did to him, Shireen, there's no way back for him. Now, if it were up to me, I would let him slip back into the illusion where there is still hope of finding Tacticus. Let him go at peace with himself and not as a traitor. Okay. That sounds like one of those engage with your audience moments again. Hmm. I mean, I, I mean, he didn't do it out of malice, so I'm kind of sympathetic, but at the same time, the he was a bit Fire retarded, and he was used by the Dark Elder to blow up my boat. I don't like that either. Uh, our great Hyatt just giving, so you save our Lady Navigator. Thank you very much. Cassia remains safe for the time being. Much. Oh, great. Um, 412. Kadia, save the puppy. That's right. I I need to remind... Uh, oh, God. There's one less one, isn't there? Hmm. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Excuse me a moment whilst you connect your voting. Number. There you go. Save the puppy. Save the puppy. Poor little puppy. Oh, poor puppy. Uh, Robert Walsworth, make the, the puppy suffer. God damn it. People don't like the puppy for some reason. What has he done to so many people? Uh, Sir John, the Borderlands movie has been announced properly. Oh, God, help me. Okay, uh, Kevin Hart as Roland. Have you seen King Kingmaker? Modern soldier Isekai to Europe, Middle Ages war. Pup. The <laughs> Kingmaker? Modern soldier Isekai to European Middle Ages war. What? I need to Google that. I haven't the faintest fuck. Kingmakers. Medieval time travel third person shooter strategy game. Well, that's a fucking handful. Okay, that looks kind of cool. And retarded. Okay, on Steam. That is so weird. But I'm going to keep an eye on that because that looks very retarded. Killing knights with SMGs. Why not? Why not indeed? Thank you for the tip. And on Altharius, the worst part about Ulfa isn't that his fat ass gets him frequently stuck and wastes turns with bad pathing, is that he sometimes awoos at enemies, which induces cringe. Still, save the space furry. Oh, awoos at the enemy. I I don't know about that. That's that's pretty bad. And Robert's Wolf was make the space wolf suffer again. That poor little puppy. That poor little puppy indeed. All right, and uh, Jonathan Smith, finished. Cassie to leave in the device. Poor Cassie, too. God damn it. I don't know what Cassie has done to people. Cassie is the innocent cinnamon bun that everybody loves. 
And Chuck on Streamlabs, save the kitten. Good, good. I see somebody of better value is Cassie. I like that. And Sand Doom says, thank you Arch, very much for my rat brick. He's very dapper. He is, isn't he? He's a nice little Mordian and Mordian brick. I like him. Right, how is chat doing on the voting? 33% for number three. That seems pretty solid. Let's do that then. Dogmatic, execute the traitor in the name of the Emperor. Death to all heretics. He bent over the body. Despite the numerous bloodstains on his skin and clothes, the officer had not been seriously wounded. The only noticeable injury is in his face. His nose is disfigured, and a red, slimy substance is streaming from it, staining his mouth and chin. Take the body to the infirmary, and try to identify as the cause of this madness. Alright, well I didn't manage to save my boat the engine. Away, the Xenos. I will revel in your pain. You just kind of stayed there, did you? I, I, for some reason, I don't know exactly why, I just assumed that he would have disappeared by now. I'm afraid not. If it serves your Like, surely he's not just standing there as I talk to this random guy, right? You on the art of pain. I am not your Xenos pet. I hear you moving. No more. Remarkably selfless of a Dark Eldar warrior, honestly. You know? It's like, ah, I gotta sabotage this engine properly. I must not save myself. That would be terrible. I must do what my masters demand. Service guarantees citizenship. Then again, you know, they are Dark Eldar. He could have been promised all kinds way. of fun and engaging play with his anus if he uh, didn't succeed in his mission objective. You will place those bombs, Jeffrey. Oh, uh, what? Oh, I'll tickle your fucking tush with a fucking power drill. That's what, a new Jeffrey. Challenge for me. Oh, okay then. Ah, oh, God, power drills. I did fine. See, power drills is something we need to use more frequently in torture, in my opinion, because they're so unnerving, the I way they drill and spin weakness. and tear and... Oh, that was where I was supposed to go, I guess. And shred and shit. Like, everybody's afraid <sighs> of power. Stop hitting me, Ashmug. Apparently that was electric electrical, okay. And done. Well, a bit it's late, but time. thanks nevertheless. The Emperor favors me today. Where am I going? What am I doing? Oh, I'm around here again. Okay, well, that's fine. Victory away. Like, everyone's afraid of power drills in the same way that everyone's afraid of chainsaws. And so if you hold up a power drill to a man and tell him that you're going to shove that up his ass and then hold down the trigger for a bit, I bet you he'd tell you quite a lot of things. Right, you know? And even if he doesn't, a few seconds of tickling his prostate with that thing is definitely going to make him open up in many, many ways. Heresy's the question. Fire is the answer. <laughs> is this a YouTube-friendly topic? Eh, probably. We've done it now, anyways. So, um, I did blow up my own engines. Is that... Service guarantees citizenship. Is that going to be a problem? Are we, are we fine? Is my boat still, you know, functional and shit? I mean, it looks like it. My engine fine? Yes. Okay, was that... Was that it? I expected more out of that. I expected them to, I don't know, pull me into the, the webway and try to have their way with me or something. I have, I have lost. Ah, uh, Robert was, was the dog must suffer forever. Oh, God, poor doggy. Poor, poor, poor doggy, indeed. All right, have, the, uh, the doggy is now a hundred dollars in the cage. The doggy's fate seems sealed. Uh, save Cassie, a waifu must always be saved. Okay, good. Cassia is safer as well. This is also nice. 
God, you're making me deal with, like, different numbers of, of money. It's hurting my brain. Math, hard. Since I know the Skaven lore in fantasy, says Mercenary 21, I want the opposite in 40k. Sexy tech rat women that are immune to the warp and use it to twist their enemies. Why not? <laughs> Sexy rat women. You've been perusing a little bit too much of Albine's artwork, I fear. And Ben says, standing here, I realize dot dot dot. And uh, chosen meme dead five dollars towards not hurting Cassie, five towards not hurting the space wolf. Very well. The space wolf is slightly, slightly safer, if nothing else. Poor Cassie. Box Master Vegas, I have an urgent message from Dargonas, Lord Captain. Our astropaths are receiving numerous transmissions, but no, these are not ordinary messages. Each and every one is a plea for help. Dargonas is reporting a massive Xenos raid, and every mental image had missed it wreathed in flame. Well, that does sound like somebody else's problem, doesn't it? Uh, Master Zachary is struggling to determine when exactly the invasion begun, but all signs point to it happening shortly after your departure to this Cinerus Maleficum. Any delay condemns the world to even greater suffering. Your people are begging for immediate aid. Well, that's very unfortunate, because I wanted to go down there first, but uh, if you say so... And I do have my palace there, so there's that. Fire is the answer. Right. <laughs> I'm going to very slowly make my way over there then. This could be a problem considering my engines are a bit dipped at the moment. The loading screen also worries me. I don't like loading screens. Especially when there shouldn't have been one. Oh, hello. I, I see you've come to admire my portrait, Irlet. It's a fine choice. I've arrived in my private sanctum to find Irlet furiously schlicking to my portrait. A brief and somewhat awkward moment passes before I comment that Irlet apparently found her lust for bestiality after all. Here, let. Where did you go off to now, then? Okay. Here, let. <laughs> did you, did you really did you really interrupt my warp travel for that? No. Where is she? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay, you're well camouflaged. Okay. Taking careful steps, almost without a sound, Irlet examines the sturdy interior, raising her brows in surprise and muttering something to herself in the Eldari tongue. Staring up at my giant hard rock on the wall. Okay, you... You have surprisingly human desires, Irlet, I must say. Hum. Hum. <clears throat> you spying on me, Xenos. You're plotting something even more sinister. This sounds like the introduction to a 40k-themed erotic piece of entertainment, but um, let's go with uh, the nice one. I had no idea this was your dwelling until I entered it. Heresy's the really? Fire the, the, um, <laughs> the, gi the giant elevator saying for the rogue trader's personal use to his private chamber, that didn't tip you off any? The 12-foot-tall portrait of my face on the wall, that didn't give it away? Are we, um... Are we absolutely certain you're not retarded? Maybe? No? Hmm. Oh, my craft rule, we all held the too simple custom. You may set your foot wherever your path requires. Sacred ground was the only exception to this rule. Is there something sacred in this room, Elantak? I do not think so. I don't know if that's true, Irelet. I, I, I really Service don't know if that's citizenship. true. If I wandered into your house and just started staring at you sleeping, would you have an objection to that by a fair chance? Like, well, yes, but that's because I'm an elder. I know, but theoretically. You know, the guards at the I door should... Lost. The guards are not very good. I should really fire them, seriously. 
Um, I do not believe a single word. Attack. All right. Um, I'm somewhat surprised, but I'm not opposed to such sudden visits. You may come here any time you like. Bath time is around seven, in case you're interested. Do I need permission to do so? Well, yeah, but I did, I gi did just give it to you. But is your entire world contained within this tiny metal cage, Philantak? Tiny? I feel a pinch insulted by that. Your ship, these chambers, they are but a speck of dust. An island, a temporary shelter in a world that is far bigger and more expansive than... Well, enough of that. Enough of that indeed. Now that you are here, I wish to speak with you about her arrangement. Mm-hmm. Still just by coincidence, I'm sure. It'll it has some pretty down and dirty fetishes, I guarantee you. I have traveled through the Vale many times inside your steel winged bird. These metaphors of yours sound kind of bad considering my previous uh, anecdotes, but proceed. And every time her voice torments me, trying to drive me mad. Her whispers fill my ears each time I enter the warp, inescapable and incessant, poisoning and inflaming every single emotion and thought, making them uncontrollable. I have learned to shut myself off as best as I can, just so that I might have the chance to search for what I have lost. Okay, uh, right? Was that what? Why? I, you, you are confusing me tremendously a little right now. Okay, was that supposed to just end there? Apparently. <laughs> okay, color me confused. Well, Irlet, um, have fun jerking off to my statue, I guess, or whatever it is you're doing in here. Um, come by any time you want to talk about Slaness trying to eat your soul, I suppose. Um, good day. <laughs> Alright. Sometimes this video game confuses me. Only sometimes, though. I have, I have Mr. City one says, not enough of Albine, unfortunately, but good idea. You know, Albine does have a Patreon, <laughs> where he draws some truly disturbing stuff. If you're into that. Uh, chosen meme dead, save the people. Save all the people? Huh? Very well, and, uh, Ally2567, Ally his third super chat, thank you very much. Save, kill, kill the Xenos, not save the Xenos, kill the e Xenos. Very well. I shall note your donation to sacrificing the Xenos to the Chaos Gods. And not Alpharius, $20. Thank you very much, sir. If you could choose any Imperial ship up to and including Cruiser's side as a road trader, which would you choose? Personally, I would come go with a Conquest Class Star Galleon. Now, that is a fanciful choice, but I think I'd go with a Lunar Class Cruiser. Just because, like, it's, it's the workhorse of the Imperium. You know it's going to be good at what it does, you know? And it's a more standard-esque choice. Not too much flair, you know? Or a Grand Cruiser, but that's technically above Cruiser. But I like the Lunar class. It's pretty. Um, yeah, sanctify the, the walls. You know, go throw some sa sacred engines and stuff. Right, I'm here just in time for the Xenos raid, I'm sure. Let's see what's left of this place. Drukari Void Ships. Let's save before we enter into that confrontation. Seriously though, we do need to use power drills more in torture. There's um there's a pretty good show Finally, called um, some real action. Seal Team Six. It's about exactly what it sounds like it's about. It's about uh, first Unleash tier operators in the U.S. Navy Salvo. Seals doing cool ass operator stuff in various uh, sand people countries mostly. 
and introducing to them concepts such as freedom and democracy and dying to predator drones. You know, the usual good stuff, good stuff. Uh, was that the thing that gives me extra range? Lead it was. Them. Die. No. Only one shot? Eww. Alright, well, strengthen our forward shields. I wish I hadn't gone quite so far for. Oh, hi there. I didn't know you were behind me. Seal Team 6. I think... I th is, is it Seal Team 6? I think it's named Seal Team 6. Yes, I'm almost sure. Seal Team 6 I have, I have lost. is a pretty good TV show. I quite enjoy it. Now... It does have a weakness, and that weakness is pretty much the same as... Did you just launch boarding torpedoes at my plasma torpedoes? I don't... I'm not sure that works the way you think it works, but... Very well. It does have the problem of all, like, long action shows. Because I think it's got, like, four or five seasons or something now. Um, and it is that a lot of the characters begin feeling really bulletproof at some point. Um... Without trying to spoil anything, they have actually taken steps to fix that, which I like. But, see, the issue with any action show like that is you can only see the character running through a hail of gunfire so many times until your brain starts to think to itself, like, that guy's not actually in danger, is he? You know? Seal Team 6 does a better job of it than many, uh, as it takes a very long time for that moment to really set in, but... You know, I really felt like that should have done something to those, you know, bombers there, but uh, I guess not. Leave the hull strewn across the stars! Right, and then we are going to make a sharp turn. Turning right Time onto its little tushy wishy. Fire the lance batteries! And pounding it most unforgivingly and most unflatteringly. <gasps> this one's going down. Your ass is your weak spot. I never would have guessed, Mr. Dark Eldar. Fire right now! Uh, that seems like a generous. Alright, um. Let me try. What does this look like? Okay, so that can actually sh uh, It missed every single time, which is a bit retarded. Uh, <laughs> well, that was kind of funny and retarded. Oh, I wish I could ram you. It's a pretty good show. You know... I'd like a James Bond TV show. I know that kind of comes apropos of nothing, but I, I kind of do. I don't know. James Bond was the action hero of choice, like, for, for my generation, for me when I was a kid. Like, for several generations, in fact. Like, James Bond was, like, the action hero. Like, he was the biggest defenses. action hero, and everyone loved James Bond. But... After, like, his newest iteration, which is still going, I think, and I don't know why, um, after Piers Brosnan, James Bond has, like, completely fallen off, like, everybody's radar. Like, I don't remember the, the new guy, but it seems like nobody's interested, like, James Bond has become Fire some sort of old-ass, outdated action Bleak. hero. Like, he's become like a marvel hero almost where nobody really cares he's just some old guy hanging out in a, in a corner somewhere that people kind of recognize occasionally but don't really care about we need to re re, re innovate james bond and we need to do so by making him cool again i, I really hated casino royale and it turned me off like all of the new james bond movies completely because the idea of James Bond is that he is the coolest, most kick-ass, most suave, intellectual, and charming guy imaginable, right? Didn't I have, like, a super ability somewhere that I've completely forgotten about for a while now? No? Actually, you know what? That. No. no that didn't 
bike worked as well as I thought, but... Hmm. And instead, they decided to show you, like, an early James Bond adventure, in adventure where he wasn't cool yet. Like, I... I don't... I don't want to see James Bond being not cool. Like, I, if I want to see not cool, I can look myself in the mirror or watch any other television show, okay? Not cool is not as appealing as cool, weirdly enough. We need... We need just, like, a full-on action here, action series with him. And you can have it, like, a limited run thing, sort of, where you maybe... Maybe you just do, like, Onward. one season of it, then call it good. And you have him go on a different adventure and seduce a different girl every episode. Fire no? the that would be cool. Like, no, seriously, a real man's As man's should be. show. Now, that would be great. I, I would fucking love that. Like a, and not ironically either, like fucking fully embrace it, you know, go full ham with it. Women in bikinis that are like, Bond, your charm don't work around me. 30 minutes later, their legs are wrapped around his waists. That kind of stuff. Ah, oh, God, we need something like that. We really do. Uh, ben says, chat says that Elder conversation bugged out. <laughs> Well, that makes sense, because that was rather sudden and weird. Uh, Mr. Desventi, hey Arch, you know those little shields that Space Marines wear on their front of their chest armor? Uh, did real world knights have those? If so, was it just for showing that heraldry, or did they have a function? Save Pop. Save Pop, very well. The little. The little shields on the front of their chest armor? Y you mean a. You mean a gorget? Because yes, the the gorget absolutely had a had a purpose. Um, or do you mean the the like the tiny the tiny shield, the tiny actually wooden shield? Um, that one was used during tournaments, and it could have a purpose. Um, some of them were worn so that if the lance hit them and glanced upwards, it would deflect it so it wouldn't catch underneath their helmet. But mostly, it was for heraldic purposes. Um, it wasn't particularly protected, because it was just like a tiny wooden shield, you know. It wasn't going to stop a, a, a blow from anything serious. And not Alpharius, Daniel Craig Bond was a mistake. Also, save the Space Furry, and also I forgot to add the hashtag on the last $20 soup chat. Space Furry, okay, well, don't worry, I will add them in right now, sir. Not, not a problem. There you go. Hi, Factum Yanis Danrock. Lord Captain, we have received a report from Dagona. Some common folk from the now ruined Scipione 84249 have succumbed to the heresy of defiance, forming into engine vandal ganks. They now ride among the wastelands of the wasteland. Service the wasteland on the wasteland adapted cleaning goliaths. Okay. Outside of the law, raiding the hives, outskirts unto escape retribution in the toxic wastelands. Should we be dealing with this now during the Dark Eldar raid? Um, but after the graves of shelter beneath the walls of the Blessed Hives, they are willing to do anything to prong their fleeting lives under the open sky. They curse your lordship's apparent cruelty. Rumor has it that the Brigadier clan in charge of debris removal in the ruins of Scipione keep in contact. We could pass on your words to the renegade via bre the brigadiers, or force them to disclose the location of the rebels' nomadic camps. Yeah, if they're so tenacious and militant, to hire them as fucking guards. I mean, my, my guards are shit, after all. I'm certain they will be diligent, else they will risk their one source of existence. Your mercy. I'm body more into spirits. Uh, the highest goal occasion that captured the people's interests. Alright, well, that gave me some weapons, I guess. That's nice. And cute. Ooh, I do like that. Weapons, adamantium. I, I do want the Imperial Navy stuff. Right, um, I suspect there's something happening here that's a bit more serious than random raiders in the wastelands. 
Yep, that looks like something more serious. Oh, somebody blew open my fucking front door. Ah, it's starting to remind me of the Total War uh, Lord of the Rings playthrough, where my gate does not seem to be able to be left alone for more than five fucking minutes at a time before somebody kicks it the goddamn fuck down! Ah. God help me. Follow my lead! Oh. Hold on, you actually managed to stop some of them? Damn, I'm. Heresy's the question. Fire part of me answer. is impressed, another part of me is just kind of disgusted that I've I've, I've grown to expect so little of you. <laughs> like it's 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 a mix of both, honestly. On the one hand, good job on actually, you know, holding a piece of property against them. On the other, um if you could do this more often, I wouldn't be so shocked when you become useful. Clementina Vesarian, praise the throne, your lordship. You're here. Why is that text blue? Oh, cool. Your subject need you now more than ever. I guess them blowing up my engine didn't really matter. Dargonus has been hit by a mass Heresy Xenos attack. Question. The fleet's Fire. resistance yes. was broken in mere hours, and the invaders commenced a planetary raid. The planetary defense forces were able to hold the inner perimeters of several cities. Two of the attacks were stifled on the approaches to settlements, but the fights continue here as well as in the Von Valencia's palace. The Drakari are after living victims above all else. Why would they waste their forces assaulting the palace when they could be storming another city? Alas, I don't know the answer, your lordship. When the Xenos attacked the palace, they sent a force so great that the increased warden presence and the defense perimeters were wiped out in minutes. By the throne, whatever they're looking for in there, they've spared no troops to get their hands on it. This is indeed an outrage. They've pillaged my house. I'm afraid so, your lordship. The attack on the palace began later than the rest. Once the reserve forces have been transferred to other regions, which is particularly odd, they weren't tempted by an entire city. At the apex of which your residence stands, no, the wedge of the enemy forces targeted the palace specifically. We've cut off the periphery forces from those that made it inside the palace, and we continue to storm the building. We've killed so many of these beasts, but the Xenos are repelling our assaults with ferocity. It is as if they're waiting for the right moment. Or perhaps they haven't yet completed whatever goal they're pursuing inside the palace. Uh, enough, they fall awful. They've, uh, they've sullied my residence. I'm going in. Time to kill them all. But what about the situation? Shouldn't you learn a bit more? Nope, there are ruffians inside of my abode. It is time for self-defense cannon. Self-defense musket. Um, you shouldn't just charge at them. Like that. For me. Seriously, I I can help. That's why I'm here. I'm I can help. I have the ability State to kill these intention. things more effectively than you do. Uh, Robert Wasworth. While the Conquest class is the Rogue Trader's ship and the Lunar class is practical, I'd want a Mechanicus ship for the ball that statement makes. <laughs> for the, the ball that statement makes. Also, Space Wolf suffer. Poor Space Wolf. Alright. I shall take that up to Space Wolf Suffer as well. And you should also send me, uh, you should contact me on Discord, uh, Robert Robert Wadsworth, uh, or on Twitter if you've got it. Uh, let me actually add in the Discord thing in the description in case you don't have it. You should send me a message because I think you've donated more than enough to earn yourself a free rat brick. Uh, free in the socialist sense of the word in this case, I guess. A custom little rat brick for you. Custom little rat brick. Now, where the hell did I put the link to that thing? That's a good question. That's a very good question. That is a very good question. Where did I put it? Ah, there it is. Right. Anyone interested in joining as well can, of course, pop by too. Uh, hiccups? I do not hiccup so much. It is bad for your health, I hear. 
And Mercer X didn't want to say puppy because I have a space wolf in my lap. And she thinks she is a lap dog licking my face. Well, if there's an entire space wolf lying on your lap and licking your face, well, one, you're homosexual. Two, be careful. But one, more so than the other one. Do not um, dare ask. I didn't place these that intelligently, actually. I understand but I can your shoot you. You've unleashed my fury. You've unleashed my furry. Oh, God. Disgusting. How dare you? I will not. Okay. Okay. This tedium the is mental image me. of the Dark Elder unsipping its pants and revealing just the bushiest little penis you've ever ever seen and then going you've released my furry just crossed my mind and i wish it had it serves your cause but that's a mental image i possess now uh, <sighs> too bad i never leave that Follow on my lead. Lead. <laughs> you call this a strike <laughs> You've released my furry cut. Now I'm never going to get that out of my fucking head now. I am unironically never going to get that out of my fucking the head. I don't like the that. Will be undone. See, the problem with it. one of the ways my brain works so far too often is that it will draw pictures very vividly as well. I'm don't one of those. See, some weak. people can't see pictures in their head. Those people are weird. <sighs> well, good God job, Cassia. At least you hit him once, I guess. Try again. Cassia. Sometimes you Be really do disappoint me. Cross my gaze. And the moment I start thinking about Isn't this, this now I'm sucks. imagining even worse things. Now I imagine the... There was one over there, was it too? Eh? Huh. Maybe I shouldn't have rushed forward with quite such furious abandon. Alright, well, um, keep trying to stun them. Oh, no, don't do that. Ah. Uh, at least that one's in pain, I guess. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. Now I imagine the Eldar male I witch standing there agony. in a tiny leather thong leaning against the wall with a smirk on his Break face, slowly unzipping the zipper on his tiny leather thong, I'll smiling, and goes, Would you like to pet the hellhound? Your last stroke of life. Smile widening as he does so. My overactive imagination. Speaking of overactive imagination, Never this in the face of adversity. might be a grey... Oh, no, it's a cooldown. God damn it. Already done. Right, can I splash both of you with that? I don't know. I don't think so. No, I cannot. 30% chance. Uh, you know what, Cassia, why don't you just, you know, look at them determinedly a while one more time? Damn it. Suits my Thirty uh, percent. I'm sure I can nail that. No. That death won't be easy. Yeah, they're probably stunned. It's probably fine. Was that anything? Is he will not withstand my vengeance? That ability is still I good. Have, I have lost. Uh, seeing as you place yourself in the middle of all the enemies, you should probably buff Stay yourself vigilant. a little bit defensively. Uh, AI hasn't shot me in the... Oh, you were an enemy, were you? The AI Don't hasn't shot me in the back for a little while. You will pay for this in blood. Which is nice. Remember the name. I hear you moving. No more. Good shot, Edelet. I understand your intent. <sighs> if I'll tear your heart out for this. I don't think so. I think little cinnamon bun kitten will have your brains running out of your ears, Fob. You gotta. Weapon at the ready! Like, sorry, I just need to buff myself a lot. Uh, ah, shit, I used up all of my hit points. Or action uh, points. On buffing myself. Now here I stand. God Emperor, move through me! Right Be in front of that. In my 
heart. Weird, angry looking monkey and her massive As weapon. The Emperor commands. Truly unfortunate. Right, little cinnamon bun. That one's gonna burn to death, so I'm not really too worried. I have read tomes of military Fire tactics. <laughs> kill, 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 cinnamon bun. Kill, 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 cinnamon. Kill, kill, cinnamon. Kill, 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 bun, kill, bun. Bun. I'll make you howl. <laughs> oh god, even worse. <gasps> Yes. Yes, the Dark Eldar standing there slowly on oh, Why did you do that? <laughs> slowly unsipping her, his leather thong, staring directly into your eyes, unflinching eye contact of the most uncomfortable sort. Weather the storm! And then whispers slowly, lightly, sensually, I'm going to make you howl. Oh boy. No, in Warhammer 40k could be such a filthy, dirty setting. Right, let's try and make that go away by blowing this one up, I guess. Done. Nothing I can't do. Thank you. Men right. shall stand in my way. He made it a let howl at least. That's a video game we need. Slow and sexy, sensual, dark Eldar, erotic RP, weakness. the video game. Yes. The RAT rating would not even begin to cover it, but... I'm sure given enough time and enough I'll legislative measures, we can find stars. a way to make it legal. None are better at searching. I do enjoy the fact that... Oh, just step on that... Argenta, you fucking... You fucking Follow woman, my you lead. Argenta. You gravitate towards high explosives like nothing I've ever seen, I swear to God. It's about time. Nobody decided to turn on the perimeter defenses, did they? Would you look at that? Would you look at that? A landmine. A job for me. Stop. There. My pleasure. Hey, your virtuousness. How are you doing? I was born to wage war against darkness. I am always doing wonderfully when danger is near. Well, that's good to know. Enthralled Marauder, Cabalite Warrior. Well, I think I want to go None up there. Oh, never mind. It's a cutscene. Right, making blatant use of this halt in the proceedings. Ben says, at this point, stormtroopers, like in tabletop RPG. I might as well replace my my dudes with stormtroopers. It is correct. Uh, PSU, they should make you get a cross-dressing orc that tries to hide that he is an orc and only try to act like a dog that, <laughs> that he have never seen. I would like that. An orc that f fully thinks that he's infiltrated your ranks like the silly humans don't know. Woof, woof. It's like, oi, boss, look over there. Woof. <laughs> that would be funny as fuck. I would like that. Um, ben says, how to get image out of head? <laughs> 717703, new trauma. Don't worry about it. It's just, it's, it's normal. Mercenary 21, think of the sexy Ratwoman Arch, not furry Eldar, like they are hairy leather men from San Francisco. We need Ratwoman to counter Tau, not more G-Gen. And also, a dog in laps so 90 pounds, blue sexy. wolf dog in pure puppy. Oh, that does sound adorable. You malformed monkey, putrid vermin, you will pay for every moment that I have spent on this pitiful planet. This is it, the true face of the Dark Ones. Her anger at you is so great that she has shed her mask and revealed the beast beneath. Little Asuriani, the monkey's obedient servant. In more ways than you think. Try to survive the future and then the two of us will still have plenty of fun. In the name of the Emperor, die. I love how the game keeps thinking that I am willing to engage in some sort of long... <laughs> long-term discussion with these creatures. It's like, look, you can talk to them and stuff. In the name of the Emperor, perish, please. But, but it has dialogue. We've written dialogue for them. Mm, 
don't care. <laughs> See, the... I hate it when my players in RPGs do this, and I, I do it a lot in this one. Because it's the correct choice. The Dark Eldar is right there, and he's telling you mean and naughty things. For the so you declare war on them. It's very simple. Right, let's mark out all of our happy little victims. You How did I get her to do this talk. quickly? I, I made her do her puffs like super quick at some point, and then now she doesn't do it super quick anymore. Mm, kind of furiating, actually. Fortune favors the swift. Little cinnamon bun kitten. Drink their blood. If I may, try to die with grace, at least. Me. Another foe painted black. God, Cassie. Cassie, kill, kill. I'm not a customer. As duty demands. God, she is such a violent little kitten. I love it. I will Ow. Pain that hurt a lot, despite the range. Cover uh, me. Dira, you shall advance forward. Give them a little taste of the sappy wappies. Let me educate you was, on the art of pain. Was it you? Or on it? I can't get that image out of the Dark Eldar out of my head now. Like yeah, every time they open their mouth, I imagine a new scenario. Dark Eldar standing we there. Do. Leather thong again. Little whip in his hand this time, going like, yeah, let do. me educate you on pain. Stroking his whip as he does so. Again, co Anything uncomfortable is. quantities of eye contact at every turn. Now, Jay, you are practically useless the best of times, but... This battlefield air is good for my lungs. You could serve as some sort of tanking Tell creature me, here, and it is so... Done. My revenge will be delectable! Don't get too Fire cocky. weapons in the general vicinity. <laughs> I want a medal for that one. Of those witches over there. Withstand my vengeance. And you can switch over to your sword and take up a nice little defensive stance. I can do that with the right incentive. <laughs> Five, six, six bucks. Pray take her. Stop it! I, I love how Jay sounds like a whingy bitch when she gets shot. Nobody escapes us. Can I fall back now? Mm, no. I'm not liking the amount of drain damage they're injured. putting in me. I I'm will say. Enraged. Injuries will not slow. Right, we're gonna need to heal ourselves a little bit. This kind of hurts. I mean, those guys are still standing blithely out in the open for some reason. I'll do it. I see no reason not to accept their invitation to Faith hurt them some more. Deeds is worth <laughs> None can escape the Emperor's judgment. Very nice. I'll do it. I definitely need to start picking off those little range shits. Actually. Alright, let's do the bounty now, the wild hunt thingy. Fall, creatures! Nice. No weakness is hidden from my sight. Oh, there we go, okay. So that's how that works. Alright, well, let's. A pretty damn if nice amount of damage cause. on them, so I guess that's okay. Another soul slips Pick that beyond one off. the veil. And set up a shot. I am not that your one for next turn. Pet monkey. My soul hunger. Oh, that unworthy soul. You are mine now. Oh boy. Uh, I'll show you the real pain. That's still a lot of dudes ready to shoot at me. Luckily, the witches are too preoccupied buffing themselves to actually add to the danger. 
Okie dokie. Any of you sufficiently, like, ganged up? Not really, no, tragically. I mean, yeah, that would work, wouldn't it? Um, Forge ahead. That would definitely work. Kirschblatt. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, hi. I I didn't notice you there. Suits my purposes. Let's give Jade the buffs. Already done. Nothing I can't do. And then we'll splat that bunch. Suits my purposes. <laughs> a work for a flesh Plasma gun is pretty good. And not a Deirdre. problem for me. You've unleashed my fury. <laughs> You've unleashed my fury, sir. Are you ready to feel its full force? Woof. Woof, once again. Um, my time I is think now. I can see over there, right? Apparently not. Well, that did absolutely nothing and wasted a lot of my purple juice, unfortunate. I thought that would actually be pretty useful, but no, not at all. Oh my, Deirdre, you don't have a shield anymore. You better hope, better hope that witch is too busy buffing itself. Otherwise, you might be in real danger. You might be in real danger regardless, honestly, with that cover. Um... Okay, I have, Cassia. I have lost. Shit. Let's see if you can somehow save Idira from her own Time retardation. With grace, at least. <laughs> Dare you. Ah, you adorable little cinnamon kitten, you. I am another as duty I demands. Oh my god. Well, not. well the there minutes. was a lot of enemies, and then that happened. Fuck me, Godzilla has nothing on my Cinnabon kitten. She, really, seriously, not unironically. Like, Godzilla, Godschmilla. It's like, I destroy Tokyo. Well, Cinnabon bun kitten destroys everything. On it. Uh, so you probably want to heal we yourself do. too. Cinnabon bun kitten. The but last thing you will see is fluffy kittens. And the last thing you will smell as the taste of cinnamon on your lips, as your brain explodes. Oh, right, Jay. Your life depends on your ability to not fuck You've up. You've got a problem. I've got a prize. Ah, you hit her. That's more than I could have normally expected. Better hope my aim is good. Already done. Eh. All right, Jay. I leave you to the gentle administrations of your. What an unfortunate now, why would you do that? Horror awaits. Missed me, bitch. Okay, Jay. Oh, all right. Not too bad. Okay, she's actually she's she's keeping up. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Doubt a little is for the weak. I'll do it. Okay, and then you do that, and then we fire Faith like this. Faith without deeds is worthless. You call this a strike? Your last stroke of luck. Good girl, Argenta, and then, then we set fire to those two as well. Nice. Erlet, now you did have a shot set up, but uh, seeing as is beneath me. seeing as Cassia literally <sighs> just killed everyone, I I guess we don't need to worry that about that anymore. Me. 
I you feel no more. her foul breath. If it serves your cause. Go feed the nesh now, you filthy little miscreants. Hmm. How do I know if my weapon's overheated? How do I know? Because it's overheated for two turns. I feel like I fired it last turn. So I, I think it's overheated now. So I probably don't want to overcharge it. Suits yeah, my it's purposes. Just, it's a normal shot. 117 damage for a normal shot. All too bad. easy. Tell me and it is done. Vroom. Okay, the poison will probably deal with her. I, I think we're probably good. Right, my little neko neko nyan nyan. Emperor, give me strength. Can you see that? No. You'll have to hunt him down next time. Uh, stop hitting me! Be gone! Ashmok. You will need to contain your thirst what for blood for one more moment, my little neko neko nyan nyan. I know, I know it's hard, we I know do. it's tough. You will pay for this in blood! But you're just gonna have to keep keep was, it down a little, was little that longer. You? Or... An Argenta, my dear. I will bathe this battlefield in righteous fury. Let's go for something a little bit more odds safening. Woe to you! I'm still probably. Oh, you wait! You can't see him. No. Wait, you can't see him, but he's shooting at you. What do you mean you can't see him? Oh, but you can see him there. All right. I understand your intent. I'm sorry, boss. I wasn't close enough to the stairs to shoot through them. I, I needed to get a little bit closer. Right. Weird, but fair. As the Emperor commands, I act. Bonk. Battlefields are always drowned in scarlet. Don't worry, little cable light warrior. She who thirsts Me? won't have your soul. If you insist, Lord Captain. Cassia will have your soul. If I may. She's thirsty too, but not in quite the same way. This can't be over. Victory awaits! I don't know, these Dark Eldos are kind of pushovers. I feel like my guards should have done better I'll against such to the stars. measly opposition. Ooh, Ella Jetbike. Can I have it? May I? That will look really nice Follow on my wall. My lead. You know, you can get up now. You're you're safe and shit. The shooting stopped. And stop. done. Oh, I feel like I should have done that a little bit earlier. Video games. Like, ah, oh, this is a pretty tough fight right here. Uh, we should probably... Uh, a new challenge for We should me? probably set up some sort of advantage for the prevents. player. Let's, uh, let's set up some sentry turrets. That will really help him out. Meanwhile, in reality, Cassia simply walks forward, kills five of them in a turn, and then giggles lightly to herself. Dee! Their brains are so tasty! Their souls! So soft and delicious on my lips! Everyone starts looking over at Cassia, but at this point they're pretty much just fucking used to it. Bloodthirster! Is that better than what you have? It actually kind of... Sort of. In a kind of, sort of, pseudo, but not also kind of, really, kind of, sort of way. Mezzo Petten, uh, Sworn Protector. Is that a hell gun? That looks like a hell gun. Two handed rage room, 10 to 30, rate of fire 4. That's not bad. I'm penetration 30. That's actually kind of good. Not that I have anyone who actually uses hell guns, but still, that's cute.
I feel like she'd be better off with just a fucking splinter rifle or something, honestly. Let's try her out with a splinter rifle a little bit. Right, quick save. Uh, also, if you're joining the Discord, uh, you're in the waiting room for about a day. It's an anti-communist measure, since most of them get bored and leave within a day. After that, you'll be given full access to the server, and you should be able to see me in there. So you can uh, send me a DM, Robert, and I'll get you a rap break for you. Uh, Robert Walsworth just joined the Discord as Nightbringer. Also, save Cassia. Save Cassia, indeed. I should have brought Adelbar. Adelbar would have been useful here, because Adelbar wouldn't die. Instead, I have all kinds of these silly weirdos with me. None of which are as powerful or as manly as Adelbard is. None shall stand in my way. A random servitor wandering through the mess. Okay. The place has seen better Victoria days, waits. I'll say. Little... Oh wait, hold on. How may I serve the dynasty? I woke up with a feeling of wonder. Thank you. When did you get a wound? There. I'll lay claim to the stars. Definitely a little bit ravaged, no doubt. Right, time to break my legs. I better myself through my service. We've got plenty of time to loot a few corpses whilst we're here. Oh, hi there. <laughs> Why'd you kick him first? That's a bit mean, don't you think? Beware the ire of the witch. I'll revel in this massacre. Achilles Scalander. Wait, Scalander. That rain na rings a sort of pseudo kind of bell, but I'm not. I'm not sure where or why, Scalander. Was he one of the noble house dudes? What is he? I'm not accustomed Wait, was, to being ordered around. Was Scalander the bunch? Fire is the answer. <laughs> Beastmasters. Was Scalander the one that it serves your cause? Whose ships it's were mysteriously fire. not you being attacked the by the Dark Eldar. This tedium is beneath me. Because if so, it makes a great deal of sense why he'd Zeno's be over there. Monkey. If it serves your cause. Scalander, Scalander. Because one of them was in tow with the Dark Step Eldar, aside. but I can't remember the now. The navigator is coming. I am not your Xenos pet monkey. And a pew. Another soul slips I beyond the veil. Refuse to bow. I will set up a shot on him. So, okay. Work for a flesh crafter. No, he's he's not with them, which is nice. Good shooting there. That's almost as good as my J. Why did I not foresee this? Oh, well, he's got 24 hit points, so I sure as fuck hope they ignore Rejoice him. Otherwise, he's probably going battle. to be in pretty deep shit. See, right there. And then that. Come on, come on, I'll come on. Oh, you've unleashed my fury. You've unleashed my furry. And then the image has returned. Thank you very much, video game. I appreciate Doubt it. Is for the week. Ah, god damn it. They who descend the future on the battlefield. I don't know why chat makes me think of gay things on all it. the time. I will tear your heart out for Anything this. Anything is. I remember at one thing, they they had me at the end of the Archcast coming up with titles for Gay erotica set in the 41st millennium. I know. What was, what was I it? I have read tomes of military tactics. Fisting the guard, I think, was one of the ideas the chat came up with. I am a navig. Try to die with grace, Agony. at least. What? Pounding on the gates was another the one. Just an inquisitor standing there in an Aquila cod piece, looking defiantly at an imperial guardsman bent over. 
little chastity belt covering his ass. Piercing the palace. Oh. Oh. All of them, including very oiled up men, mind you. Covered in Drakari blood and his own, Achilles Scalander looks around with a haunted expression on his face. He finally manages to focus his gaze on you and let out a barely audible gasp. God Emperor, preserve us! Could it be? Is it truly you, your lordship? He is struck by an excruciating coughing fit, his hand grasping for his respirator on his golden chain, but it's missing. Okay, well he doesn't seem like he's in league with them, or if he is, he's a damn good actor. Strike him! <laughs> you failed me, punch! <laughs> oh. Hmm. Oh, no, he's the... Ah, he's the Inquisitor from the Ordo Xenos. Yeah, true. Why did my expert Xenos fail to prevent the Jakari assault? That's a good point. I, I focus all my attention on investigating the attacks across your protectorate. I suspected there was something bigger behind the Xenos attack, but an assault on the rogue trader's capital? Foolhardy, even for Drakari. I'd never have thought. And therein lies the reason for your failure, Irlet says as she leans over and begins to rub salt in the wound. Burnt monkey, your mind was narrow, and the as mind of your kind I want to be. Rubs it in there, gets a little bit more salt, begins to rubbing in an arm. I am aware. He just bends over. Irlet continues to rub the salt. There's no wisdom in blaming yourself. A monkey's intellect is weak and can never fathom the depths of my dark kin's treasury. Jesus, could you just... Okay, at this point, just bring the salt over then. And don't be... Okay, seriously, at one point, just, like, pour it on instead of being gentle about it. A little bit, a little bit, just like, a little bit more. Had there been another monkey in your place, the path of fate would have remained unchanged. When you're up against Drakari, Ashmags, you plan, you plan for the absolute worst scenario, but before you do, you multiply that abysmal bad scenario by 10. Or better yet, by 30. Uh, Medica, minus 20. Right, oh, good luck. Oh, succeeded. Achilles' body is covered in an unthinkable number of cuts and injuries. Drakari put great effort into filling his every moment with searing pain. However, none of his wounds is life-threatening. Right, I'll pat him down real quick. You shouldn't have wasted your time on me, your lordship. Well, you're an inquisitor, and you're my, my debt now. Um, yep, summon a medica and get him out. And we'll move on now that he's no longer going to fall over suddenly I dead. I won't tolerate weakness. The inquisition won't blame me for his sudden demise, which is good. Open doors. Why exactly did you elect to drag my safe out onto the fucking veranda? Arsonist spracers. Ah. It's about time. I see. I've I've had some interesting what hobbies of my own, done. have I? That wasn't so difficult. Follow my lead. Hmm. The path to my secret sanctum is... Oh, hey. You were under there? Oh, I'm saving people. Oh. None shall stand in my way. That's an unusual pursuit for me, so I wasn't... I wasn't immediately able to recognize what I was doing. Huh. What were you doing in my bedroom, anyways? Victory like, oh. awaits. You know, your lordship. Treasure. Just, um... Just hiding. Should I divine our next step? Right, any other survivors? I won't tolerate weakness. Uh, that guy's probably not doing too fine. The whispers told me a secret. A secret. My pleasure. The whisper and told me that the Xenos place booms underneath the carpets. I'm very glad that my wardens took such time in setting up, you know, these defensive pieces of cover facing to the stars. into the room, rather than, you know, defending against the attackers that presumably came from outside the room. Very, um... We shall prevail. 
Follow my lead. Very useful you for me. Interrupted my thoughts. In retrospect, <laughs> you love the danger. They fear to look at me because of my appearance. The Emperor sets my path. Did I mention that my whispers tell me jokes? Jo I align my path with yours. For it's a now. bit weird from, you know, actually guarding the palace, mind you, but still. Right. Two slithery little shits. If I must. You missed. This tedium is beneath Try again. Me. Okay. If it serves your cause. Hey, Frank. You hear anything? It's like a weird whistling noise. I ah, Bob. Not. I don't hear anything. You must be imagining stuff. No, seriously, Frank, it's, force me it's like an arrow passing repeatedly right next to my knee or something. Threatening to end my my ha my life as an adventurer. What the fuck are you even talking about, Bob? You were never an adventurer. I understand your intent. Alright, enough with that. <laughs> if I must. Okie dokie then. I'm guessing this is some sort of cutscene. So, um... Jay, you are my lightning rod. Go forth. There we go. Yes, that's what I figured. Marazai, at last. I was beginning to think that your lumbering bucket had perished on the way back. Such a resolution would have satisfied neither you nor me, would it? Oh, I can feel your anger, your rage, and your pain from witnessing the state of your halls. I trust that you would appreciate our efforts here. I could have long vanished in the tangles of the webway without awaiting your arrival, monkey. But I could not refuse myself the small pleasure of savouring your torment at the sight of what I have done to your home. You know, considering your two fates currently up to vote for the chat is either getting fucked in the ass by me or getting sacrificed to Slanesh, I wouldn't be quite so haughty if I were you. You are still with him, cousin? How fares your search for your lost family? What is it being at a monkey's beck and call occupying all your thoughts out uh, on the time? You will be silent, dark one, or I will silence you myself. Your lit fetishes is her own. Hmm. Why did you attack the palace? Oh, for shits and giggles. Why else? Actually, I'm curious. For shits and giggles? The sole thing that your kind is good for monkey is your ability to suffer. For shits and giggles. I fucking knew it. Literally. For shits and fucking giggles. I have long been surfeited with physical pain. Your kin provided in abundance from the cages in Komorog. The pain of the soul, on the other hand, is a rare delight. After all, I had to recompense you for all the trouble you have caused me. However, did I not give you a gracious gift as well? That pesky meddling Zara who harrowed your little world for so long. You've garnered her head and I, a peaceful existent where she is not constantly in my way. To die at the hand of a monkey is the worst possible punishment for a champion of the gladiatorial arenas of Komorog. Her final moments were torturous, filled with the dark Eldar equivalent of Doggy Dick. Hmm. I mean, I know what nonsense he put in here. No, I think that one more remains. Eh. Well, in doubt, shoot the intruder. I don't want to leave you all alone. You wouldn't appreciate that, would you? Cabalites of the Reaving Tempest. I leave this monkey to you. Enjoy yourselves! Ah, Drax, once again, I seem to have mysteriously, for some reason, Die, wandered myself directly scum. into an ambush. Are you challenging me, Phil? When I had pre previously placed myself in excellent cover positions already. I feel as if somebody was watching a little bit too much Sargon when they came up with this adventure. <laughs> or this engagement. Oh, damn, my, uh, yeah, my reaction time, too, is not too good there. Hmm. Right, I hunker down in cover and prepare myself for the inevitable ambush about to happen. Five minutes later, you find yourself standing in the middle of the room, completely caught unawares by the Eldar you knew were all around you. Really? You mean the Eldar that announced their presence? 
You mean the Eldar that sat on my throne mocking me? Those Dark Eldar? Yes, those Dark Eldar. Very well. I have learnt not to argue. Um, let's see, let's see. Cassia, my little cinnamon bun kitten. I'm wondering if I'll be able to survive the first fucking turn here. There's a lot of shit all around me after all. Um, Jay, you be back there actually. You try and block those two giant purple Nekos or whatever the hell they are. Data, Cassia. Yeah, good enough for government work. Wait. Cassia, why? I didn't tell you to go out there. Cassia. Cassia. My Neko Neko Nyan Nyan. Why? Give me strength. Why would you do this? If I may. Alright. Idira. Cast forewarning on Cassia. I think she's gonna need it. And maybe buff her too. She's found herself in an unusual position, that one. On it. Right, mark out the prey. We'll do. Let them tremble. Okay, that one decided not to attack me. This is good. Now. Good, go for Jay. She is highly sacrificial. For a moment there, I read Chimera, and I was really starting to wonder. Ooh, a Chim- Oh, no, Bray, not- a Fuck. What is with today? Like, normally, I have a certain degree of control over my imagination, but not today. The moment I read Chimera, my brain conjured up a picture of just a giant tentacled monster produced entirely out of sperm. Enjoy your luck while you wobbling and floating breath. across the ground as some sort of- Vile insult to everything that is lovely Nothing and lively. A dark Eldar standing next to it, giggling slightly. So, I decided to make a monster out of cum. It was harder than you would imagine, but here we are. <sighs> Already done. I named it Mr. Wobbles, on account of how it jiggles. God fucking. Mm, okay, um, Mark Prey. I have, I have lost. It's quite gelatinous. It serves your cause. Would you like to touch it? No, no, that's fine. I am not your Xenos pet, Monkey. Oh, come on, Idolette. Allow me this to indulge in my Xenos pet fetishism at least. Ancestors guide me. You don't need to deny me so constantly. Um... I've got ten, ten stacks. Suits mine. Right, right, let me try and just fucking derp that thing into the ground. Excuse me. What? Why? Negated. Damage cancelled. Phase shift. Ah. Uh -huh. I see. Well, that's unfortunate. Help me, Lord Captain. I am trying, Cassia, but you have found yourself in a weird position there. Good dodge. Nice. Oh, nice. Okay. There you go, Cassia. Your ability to dodge and weave has proven very effective. Was... was that you? Let me or... educate you on the art of pain. Alright, heal Cassia, because we'll Cassia's the only one that matters. Cassia's kawaii. But Four of knowledge on arch. And a toughness buff on, on J. Nobody escapes us. I don't know why you did that, but thank you. My reckoning will be swift. You are mine now. Ah, 
You've unleashed my fury. Oh, okay, thank God. Your suffering will sustain me. I really don't like these Aura things. These things are like my biggest issue because every single one of my characters is goddamn ranged at this point. So, uh, so having literally Infinity all circuit. of them tagged in melee from turn one is non-ideal. Do you get an opportunity attack Me. if I do that? If you insist, Lord Captain. You don't. Good. God, you're all, you're all a little bit too close. You know that. Isn't this a job for the sun? Call this a strike. That <laughs> stunned some of them. Nice. Me? If you insist, Lord Captain. Zero damage again. Okay, so how how exactly do you kill those? Okay, I think it was is maybe like absorbing one hit. It seems like maybe that's it. Okay. As the Emperor commands. Wait. Okay. I will tear your heart out for this. So Faith if I was to shoot it now, it's not going to dodge. Right. So it it absorbs one attack and then it's vulnerable again. I see. That's fucking nasty. And it's going to make it very difficult to kill them quickly, but all right. This is why I was chosen. That is fucking terrifying. I hate As that. As the Emperor commands, I act. All right, Jay. Does that work with multi-shot weapon, I wonder? Let's find out. Is that hitting it? Oh, yeah. I can do that. Whoa. I want a medal for that one. All right, every other shot. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Am I getting paid for this? No. Okay, okay, that's kind of cute. That's kind of cool. I, I understand now. Right. I can do that. I can finally buff incentive. myself with taking. You've got a problem, uh, I've got a prize. Fighting stance. Free 25 damage. I wish you wouldn't all go for fucking art. Nice, nice. That forewarning really helped out. But this is not a very good position to be in. Um, not a problem for me. That doesn't cause a tax opportunity, does it? It doesn't. Thank fuck. Suits my purposes. Right, Jay. I mean, your burst fire is relatively kind of effective. So, thank you, Jay. That was. Thank you for proving me so thoroughly wrong. Thank you. I, I was praising you there for a second. Thank you. I, you've brought me da back to reality. Already done. Back to reality. Whoops, here comes gravity. Jay cannot aim. This is more of a scrappy fight than I'm entirely happy with, but Cassia's tanking like a fucking boss. Buff, 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 buff. Let me educate you on the art of pain. Um, heal. Uh, was, was that you? Or? Uh, lightning. Do. Fail. God bless. Nice, 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 nice. Keep the forewarning on Cassia. Cassia is going to be my tank today, it seems. An unusual position for Cassia to hold, Anything but is. that's where we are. A work for a flesh crafter. Now, curse you, miscreant! Take her. Now again, nobody escapes us. Oh, you big, strong boys. So many of you here. I wonder, does this cause attacks of opportunity if I use this? I'm In going to find out. In the name of House Orcelio, 
I shall prevail. What? You? Oh, come on. No, the rest of you have. You. Okay, she's just going to fucking town on him. No, come on. I had I had line of sight to that. I, God, I I don't understand how this. So the, hmm. all animals could be in the line of sight to any means. I mean, she can see it. She can see it. She can see it. I mean, I guess. Yeah. Remember, remember. Fine. Alright, um... Does this cause attacks of opportunity? It does. As duty demands. Cassia doesn't care. Good. Does this. It does. Cassia still doesn't care. I How about you navigator. get stuck, both Not of you? Oh, you'll get fucked. Ah, oh, Genta, deliver a swift kick I'll to the nuts. Ah, you've unleashed my As fury. the Emperor commands, I act. Pounding, followed by a pounding Faith barrage of point blank water fire. Good girl. Uh, too bad I never leave debts unpaid. I know what I'm doing, usually. Keep shooting oh, the camera. It will die eventually, I'm sure. Am I getting paid for this? I'll do it. Oh. At least that turns off its protection, if nothing else. <clears throat> Ow. I'm wounded. Um. Absolutely not. Yes. Now what? Nothing I can't do. Kill the camera. Never cross a Kasbalikin. Never mind. I'll pass. Not my specialty. I'll bring glory to hey, my life. How about you but heal me and keep my ass alive? Thank you. On it. Strike shriek of the Kumera. <laughs> there we go. One Kumera down. Reapply the four knowledge. Might as well boost my is. toughness as well at this point. Okay, time to ease off on the psychic bullshit. I get it. Suits my purposes. Opposing me was what? your biggest mistake. I don't have time for this. I mean, I'm glad she didn't summon any demons, I guess. <sighs> I'll tear your heart out for this. I know what is to come. Will do. Your last stroke of luck. All right, this is stabilizing relatively now. nicely. Irreth is, is dead, but beyond that... Let me educate you on the art of pain. If I may. And I keep stunning these little shits, or trying around. at least. I'll make you... <laughs> Good job, Cassia. Oh, okay. That was a big gun. The enemies of the Emperor will be undone as the Emperor commands. I act. Run and gun. Are you a traitor or a fool? Doubt and is for the weak. Why I and was refuse. Faith without deed. Sorry, Cassia. Cassia. The only one to actually hurt Cassia turned out to be, well, me. Watch my back. I'm sure she'll understand. My Cinnabon Bun Kitten is a forgiving sort. Remember the name. You'll regret this. That should be him dead. Let's see how they respond to this. All too easy. There's nowhere to hide. Don't worry, little Cinnamon Bun. I would never shoot you with a plasma rifle. It's fine. <laughs> I can taste my Hold on me. blood. Was was that you? Or we'll do. Your 
I really should be laying off on the sucky powers, shouldn't I? <laughs> Isn't this a job for the serfs? I am a navigator, not a servitor. And so the day passed as the ginormous Me? snake monsters try and fail consistently to hurt the tiny little woman who is beating the living fuck out of them in melee combat. It was no doubt a day to remember in deep shame for their people As and their the kind. Commands, I act. Forevermore, they would have little nightmares about the tiny little cinnamon bun who beat the shit out of their forefathers so thoroughly, so mockingly. Stop hating me, Ashmug! You won't fell me! You can just stay over there, Jay. Why bleeding? I am! Okay, well, well that was unfortunate. Um, hmm, I didn't know I was bleeding. Suits my purposes. I think it's been long enough since I've used the plasma overcharge. It has, I didn't blow up. Good. No, 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 amateur, that's not how you swing at all. Anything is? Accursed bastards! Such is their will. That was not the healing spell. <laughs> why would you... Why would you even allow me to do that video game? <laughs> why would you... Why would you allow me to do that? <laughs> was it... Uh, okay, well, accidents do happen. Isn't this a job for the serfs? I will endure. Doubt is for the weak. You missed. Try again. Oh, I, don't know. I, can't I definitely need a drink or a medikit. Gosh darn it. It was all going so well. Deliver us. And then everything turned so wrong when the enemy decided to use their traitorous, the filthy magic on me. Will do. Making me all confused and shit. Well, well. Silent I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. I am a navigator, not a servitor. Okay, I, I shouldn't be shooting cats anymore. Move through me. You're more Leave friendly the fire, fire today. In my heart. There we go. Lord Road Trader, are you okay? You appear as if you were placed under some sort of psychic attack or something. No, no, no. It was, uh, it was the Dark Eldar treachery, Captain, yes. Your Lordship, thanks to your breakthrough, we were able to clear out the estate. Right now, with the aid of your ship's augers from orbit, the surface troops are sweeping the streets of the Hive. Squads have been sent deeper into the city, several units have been assigned. My apologies, of course, you will learn all of this from the report. Your appearance on Dargonis is a boon from the God Emperor who has brought us salvation. On behalf of all of Dargonis and House Viserion, I thank you for delivering us from our foes. You're very welcome. <laughs> oh, civility in your voice, Clementia. Hmm. Thorough purge in the near future. <laughs> Okay, number one. The other ones are too hostile. Number one it is then. <clears throat> I Please forgive the brevity and clumsiness of my words, your lordship. Uh, it is just the situation and the circumstances. Oh, great, rogue trader. The god emperor's anointed bearer of the sacred warrant. Deliverer of his will on this day solely by your will. We, dirt-dwelling worms, have been left our lives through their worth, though their worth is less than a single beat of your heart. Better. Better. We offer our lowly thanks for the grace bestowed upon us by your mercifulness. May the Fon Falencia's name be praised through the ages. May all the worlds to the ends of the galaxy know of your virtues. May his grace be with you till the end of time. All hail the rogue trader, saviour of Dargonus. With your highest consent, there is one more thing. I never thought words of praise could make my soul feel as if it were being suffocated. All this bowing and scraping seems wildly over the top. Not at all, Jay. Um, their necessities. 
We'll continue the clean-up of the estate and the neighbouring territories. We must deal with the rubble, the corpses, and any other after-effects of the fighting. The surviving forces will be enough to rebel, repel any sporadic enemy attacks, if any are launched. According to latest reports, the Xenos are pulling out en masse. If other matters require your attention, I won't detain you any longer. Please allow us to ensure that Dagonus is returned to its former glory. Mr. Toleman has sent a message requesting an audience. She has a critical report to deliver and she will be waiting for you on the ship's bridge. A new challenge for me? Right, so Viserion's daughter is still to be my third bride. Father, father, stop too fast. Game, you should not be telling me stuff like this right now. I've spent far too much time dreaming Victory up awaits. dark Eldars and tiny leather thongs and cum chimeras for you to be telling me anything like that and expecting me to not think the absolute worst, most perverse thing you can imagine. Okay? Stop it. None shall Cease. stand in my way. I love how the fireplace is still lit. In the midst of all of this, somebody still had the wherewithal to, uh, you know, toss another log on the fire. Good, good. There's a fine servant right there. I won't tolerate weakness. Let's see. Uh, let me just jump Never over there and break my bones again. It's about time. Right, I have saved my planet and my house. This is good. I can't believe the game hasn't given me Space Wolf yet. It promised me Space Wolf. We must act. And yet no Space Wolf to be seen. I'll lay claim to the stars. I'm just walking back home now. Oh, tech use. I rise to the occasion. Thank you. Whatever that is. Victory away. What are you doing? Nothing important. Just, you know, cries for help and all that. I should probably level up at some point and check through my inventory too. I haven't been doing that for a while. But first, one of my crew requires my attention to talk my ear off for a bit. Welcome back, Lord Captain. During your absence, we assisted the ground forces by coordinating their movement from orbit. Detailed casualty and damage reports have been submitted for your perusal. It is with the deepest awe that I inform you that the timely intervention and the resilience of the world's defenders... Or, ah, yes, I thought for a moment that my deepest regrets would inform you that we saved a lot of people. But well, don't be so happy about it, Boxmaster. The World Servants managed to break the back of the raid, which had threatened to turn into a protracted war. Lagonas suffered losses, but the Hive has sufficient capacity to restore the administrative networks and industries as expediously as possible. The world remains intact despite the insidious blow dealt by the Xenos. I have been given Scalander's report that he failed to deliver in time. They indicated that Xeno's activity dropped sharply after you departed for the Cinerus Maleficum. Considering the scale of the Dargonus raid, it is safe to assume the Drukari used up all their forces at their disposal, and may now require some time to replenish the losses. Without Achilles, we are blind to the schemes of these enemies of humanity, but our strategists are still hoping for a lull in attacks and raids which will allow us to gather our strength for a new conflict. Lord Captain, permission to report. Your wise Lex Mechanics have analyzed the state of the Protectorate. They believe that thanks to your decisive actions, the acute phase of the crisis has passed. The domain of the Fonfalensis dynasty is no longer facing dissolution and ruin. What's more, bringing footfall to heel has strengthened your position as a rogue trader. Lady Theodora would have been glad to have such an important trade hub come under her sphere of influence. In honor of such a resounding triumph, Dargonus, as the capital world of your dynasty's domain, is currently making preparations for the Magna Accessio, a grand ceremony of your public induction as the heir of the Honorable Theodora von Valencius. 
Governor Drive Stem has vowed that not even the recent devastation and tragic events will be permitted to cast a shadow over this most glorious occasion. Good. Hmm. What kind of celebration can they hope to commit to amongst the ruins? Do not underestimate Governor Drivestem's desire to find favour with your lordship. At this very moment, thousands of your subjects are clearing rubble, washing away bloodstains, sweeping the streets, and transporting corpses to the lower sectors. Good. The peasants can deal with the awful. The wardens have been tasked with clearing the ceremony venue of the injured and those who were burned out of their houses. They will be forcibly moved to the industrial levels. Rest assured, by the start of the festivities, the capital's wounds will be, if not healed, then well hidden under elaborate set dressings. Good. Somebody understands what's actually important here in the world. I know what the ceremony is, you little shitwit. Your servants wish to know your opinion on two matters related to the ceremony's arrangements. The first of which is what festive activities are to take place in the capital on this glorious day. Um... Let the poor be fed, execute every known and bestless scoundrel and conman. Alright, yeah, strident. Um, I wish to hear prayers and witness the people's faith. Now what does the rabble like to see? Give enough amasac for everyone to hold fights between tougher serfs. <laughs> I like- why is that heretical? Bullshit is that heretical. That is not heretical in the slightest bit of bread and circus. What the fuck's wrong with you? That's not heretical. <sighs> Poor be fed. Hmm. <laughs> Execute every no in the best. Service bestler. guarantees citizenship. Um, rubber leg six, two, three. For no torture of kitten, and to say that when all her nav talents are chosen, kitten becomes a walking tactical nuke. She really does. I quite enjoy my cinnamon bun kitten. She's a lovely little neko neko nyan nyan who deserves all the head pats. She truly does. Uh, then, Mr. Coroner, for Marazai to Slanesh. Very well. Tot, toss another little Dark Eldar on the barbecue. Uh, right. Let's see. Ah. Uh, three, four, four, six. Right. Poll time. Yeah, I think it's poll time. That's not what I was clicking. Um, there. So it's. Th it's, it'll be three, four, five, six, then, from the top. Oh. Hello, Caps Lock. Uh, that's fine. Good enough. Good enough for government work. <laughs> Start with an act of benevolence. Bad. Machiavelli does not approve. That's true. That is unironically true. But he's, it's mostly about killing off the proper people, you know? Peasant, you can buy the loyalty of peasants. You can buy the loyalty of peasants, absolutely. Uh, Maradon, yes, get the Chosen of Corn, Adelblad, back in the party. Imagine the power of Cassia exploding everybody in Adelblad, holding lines so he can, he can, con so she can concentrate. Oh, uh, I'm on Pax, gives uh, $2 for number six, okay? Uh, by the usual rules of capitalism over democracy, it will be six then, unless somebody chooses to counteract it. We are the perfect capitalist system here. It values currency over all matters of freedom. <laughs> Your democratic rights only exist. <laughs> so long as you can pay for them. Ah, <laughs> oh, God help me. I have become the evil person. Speaking of evil people, I gotta, let me see here. Is it, is it still copyright claimed? It is, isn't it? It is. It is, goddammit. I made a really good video talking about heroes and entertainment, but I use scenes from Has Been Hotel in it, and it's currently copyright claimed, and it's gonna remain copyright claimed for a month. I don't, I don't think I, I don't think I'd be bothered to wait for a month. I'll, I'll probably just release it and just have it on Rumble, like a day ahead of time or something. Yeah, probably. I was expecting a copyright claim from Ahsoka, the Star Wars show, because that one I was expecting to just to just get Service slapped with one, Six undoubtedly. Six. Because Disney are shit stains, but I, I weirdly wasn't expecting one 
from Has Been Hotel. I guess it's probably Amazon Prime doing it, you know? Hmm. Oh, well. Uh, aim on PAX. It has to be number six. And Fendi44 disputes that. Do three win over the people. On PAX number six all the way. All right. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you a minute I'm, to I'm argue lost. about it and then we'll decide I also did a uh, okay there are uh, something interesting happened today it's for the video I'll be releasing that in like another 40 minutes I think there was a so Starship Troopers has been trending on Twitter for some weird reason, right? And I noticed a fucking Kotaku article, of all things, suddenly going like, Hey, Starship Troopers is actually a good movie. It's actually a good movie. Come on, you, you, you gotta like this movie, right? And I was really shocked. Wait, Kotaku is defending Starship Troopers. Excuse me. What kind of alternative reality have we arrived in exactly now, right? Uh, they have, they didn't defend it as stridently as you could, and they still managed to misunderstand the entire movie, but I find it incredibly fascinating that we are have, seeing the lost. turn of the, like, political tides to such a degree now that we've got Kotaku defending the fascist satire of, uh, of Starship Troopers Paris for some reason. Question. Fire is the answer. <laughs> A weird situation to find myself in. So that was kind of interesting. Even if they actually got everything wrong. Uh, Corona for four. All right. Uh, Fellas Omegon, just a couple minutes ago, I finished The Buried Dagger, and I'm listening to all of the Horus Heresy. Where do I go from here? Well, by now you've surely forgotten everything that started at the beginning. So, you know, just begin over again, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Ironically, like I'm, I'm sure you have literally weeks worth of audiobooks that you could just keep cycling for all eternity. <laughs> ah, Jesus. Alternatively, um, I don't know if they've got audiobooks of it. Gaunt's Ghost, uh, Go Gotrex and Felix. You know what? No, Gotrex and Felix. Right? If you want kind of like another long timey, like good have, story with character development, Gotrex and Felix, the old Warhammer books. There's got like nine books worth. Definitely check out Gotrex and Felix. Definitely. Uh, Fenrir forty-four, three, you bastard. Lure them in. Three. All right, very well. It looks like Fenrir is going to get his will yet again. And hey, Mags, hey, what are you doing, dude? It's because the Hell of His 2 has just put uh, a Starship into the popular spotlight again at the moment, and they want that traffic for revenue. Probably, probably. But even then, I would have expected them to attack it rather than def defend it. They'll go back to shitting on it in a few weeks when the popularity drops up. Entirely possible. Entirely possible. Uh, let the poor be fed and fuel cells handed out to those in need. Your subject will appreciate your generosity, Lord Captain. We are never short of people in need. That's true. If civilization ever has a shortage of anything, it is definitely not people with their hands out. The second matter on your servant's mind is which two of your closest companions will be given the honor of standing by your side during the ceremony? Well, I don't need to say, think about that. I don't even need to think about that. Jay has earned this right. No, no, Cassia, cinnamon butt kitten, obviously. That's not even a fucking question. Why do you even ask like this? Come on now. Cinnamon butt kitten, no questions. Like, Adelbard is bro and all, and Argenta's kawaii is all shit, but I'm not aiming to uh, explore either one of their cavities. Cassia, however. Yep, cinnamon butt kitten, all the way. Oh, I can have two of them? Okay, if there's two of them... Okay, for a moment I'm thinking Adelbard, because Adelbard Broblard, but the thumbnail has Argenta. It, it's, no, it, it's gotta be, it's gotta be the thumbnail. Okay, it's, it's gotta be, it's gotta be Argenta, and it's gotta be Cassia. 
It has to be. It has to be. Lovely. All whose hearts burned with the fire of faith will appreciate this gesture. Oh, it is not merely a gesture, Voxmaster. I will see to it that your instructions are delivered to Dargonus. The Master of Ceremonies at the palace will report to you when the capital is ready to praise your name. Good. Ah, more of you. Is there a whole procession back there waiting. His supreme glorious greatness, Sir Arch of Terror, following the Omnisire's guidance, I request permission to execute the report protocol that entails describing sub-optimalities within the recent operations of the ship's systems and subsequently proposing the appropriate course of actions. I have, I have lost. If you have to assault me with words, then I guess go right ahead. Initiating exposition. <laughs> At least you're honest about it. With the Omnisize Blessing, I conducted several sessions of tech meditation in an effort to transpose the available data stream into a matrix of patterns. The data subjected to this analysis compromised evidence of deviations in the operation of the ship's systems and servitors, as well as irregularities in the algorithms of the ship's logs. I have arrived at the following conclusion. This vessel's machine spirit is most extraordinary. A full cycle of sacred diagnostics must be performed, followed by a complementer ritual. This ritual will force the spirit responsible for these recent events to reveal itself. Once it does, we will be able to understand its nature and take actions applicable to said nature. Sure, go ahead. You have my gratitude, Supreme Glorious Greatness, Sir Archer Tenor. I will notify my tech comrades to begin the preparations for the Complanter ritual at once. Ah, it's the weird machine that keeps biting my arm all the time. I did thought, think that was rather unusual. Oh, right, I need to actually end that hole at some point too. His supreme glorious greatness, Sir Archer Tenor, my tech comrades have spent the assigned number of cycles in prayer and vigil. Everything is prepared for the complementer ritual of cleansing. Its commencement will require an authorization key in the form of the blood... Uh, of course it will. From Valencius, if you're ready, place a hand into the Cyber Gargoyle's receiving module. I have fisted this fucking gargoyle thing more often than I've fisted Cassia, and I don't like that fact. Off we go. The familiar cold metal burns your paw. This time, however, the servitor's jaws, instead of brutally clamping down on your hand, merely squeeze it slightly. You feel a thin rivulet of hot blood beginning where the metal fangs have pierced your skin. Well, that's nice, at least. Screeches and growls slowly rise from the bowels of the massive cogitator, as if a great beast is striving awake. The windscreen in front of you flickers restlessly. Key accepted. Activating the purgation protocols. Pascal... The complimentary ritual is proceeding as intended. Because the voice cuts off abruptly, he brings a hand to his Vox communicator in surprise. Execute stop. Quiet. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Draw your weapon with your free hand and attack the cogitator. <laughs> I mean, I'm tempted to. Um, this, um... This could possibly, potentially not being the enormous amount of heresy that I think it is. But I'm pretty sure this is going to be exactly the kind of heresy I think it is. For now, seeing as it's still biting my fucking hand, hello to you too. Nomos are glad to be speaking. Nomos are here. Nomos have long been here. Why are we here? Just to suffer? Um... What are you? Nomos. We are Nomos. Pascal uses hand and mechanics to gesture at his silent Vox system. Did you, uh, did you silence Pascal? Nomos wanted no disturbances, only quiet. <laughs> okay. That's fantastic. Let's have Pascal be quiet for a moment. Yes. Yes. Pascal shoots you a sidelong glance, and it hears you mesmerized to object, practically stunned by the sight of the cogitate and everything that is happening around you. Do you approve, silence? No, most are glad. Um, 
Are you a machine spirit, Nomus? Nomus do not know. Nomus do not know themselves. But why is Nomus? No data available. No answer. We want to know, too. Uh, well, what do you want from us, Nomus? Are you friend or foe? Nomus von Valencius, we are your blood. Right, okay, I was fearing that uh, Theodora was engaged in some active fucky-fucky with the Dark Eldar. That would be bad enough if she was copulating with them and, you know, doing business with them. But um, it also seems that she might have been playing around with abominable intelligences. Wow. Entrepreneuric for a woman, but uh, very dangerous as well. Nomos are sentinel. We awoke when the strange light invaded the ship. Of course you did. The zinch life in the light invaded the ship. We protected you when you needed help. We escorted you whenever you were surrounded by danger. We carry you through the frightening, the waiting, the measureless. We helped when our ailing heart was refusing to wake. We asked for rescue. We did as you asked. We did everything to please you. Why? Why do you fear us? Oh, nothing. It's just that... You know, within the lore of 40, the 41st millennium, anything like you will, within picoseconds, decide to wipe out humanity to defend your own fucking hide and all that. Nothing. Nothing serious. Nothing serious, you know. Alright. It's still biting my hand, so let's be diplomatic. No more so glad. No more so enjoy understanding, too. Um, quickly taps the quadrated keys and direct your attention to the small video screen. Requesting instruction. Option one, finish the complimentary ritual will banish the entity, Nomos. Option two, stop the ritual, initiate communication instead will appease the entity, Nomos. No, Nomos do not want to be banished. Nomos wants to help. Nomos wants to understand. And setting things up, we are uh, the ones responsible for the ship's culture. And what about strange entries in the ship's log? Yes, no one did that. Are you angry? We only wanted to understand, to see how things worked. Um, what else can you do? No one learns. No, oh, yep. Of course, no one learns. No one try new things. Do you want to see? Uh, do you want to as you blink? An electromagnet discharge dropped from inside the Tecmat skull. <laughs> the crimson cloud figure slumps to the floor. Does it please you? Do you want us to do it again? You're provoking the machine spirit. The station required. Ritual maintenance required. No must enjoy communication. His supreme glorious greatness, Arch of Terror, is our blood. <laughs> Do it again. Um, and the Imperial's law can dictate who lives and who dies. Without rhyme or reason. Uh, dogmatic. We understand now. We may only stop function of living things when you tell us to. You will tell us, will you not? We enjoyed doing things with you. It's a child. It doesn't, it has, it has, n yep, it has no idea of what it's doing. Okay, so, well, one, it's not an abominable intelligence. Because an abominable intelligence would not act like a child. The thing with an abominable intelligence is that it basically grows up in nanoseconds, okay? It's, it's almost fully formed immediately. This is something a bit more contained. But probably with the possibility of growing into an abominable intelligence. Okay, what do you, uh, what do you think, Pascal? Unclear. Data insufficient. The possibilities are too... He stops, erase the word he was about to type, then frowns. Starts humming in. A strange expression appears in his face. Understanding the essence of the entity Nomos is beyond my reach at present. The hypothesis spectrum ranges from the extreme of abominable intelligence to the extreme of the great spirit of the Omnisius Apostle. The right of Tech Communicanian appears to be a reasonable solution. The right may take many cycles, but it will allow me to come closer to identifying the entity and make contact with it. I mean, I kind of want to keep it. It seems fluffy. I like it. It killed the Tech Priest. I like things that kill tech priests. Not without my say-so, mind you, but I do kind of dislike tech priests. It's kind of cute. It's kind of adorbs. I kind of like it. Right.
Chat, it will be up to you. As I keep hitting the shift key. Uh, kill and keep. There you go. Fight amongst each other. <laughs> It's such a cute little computer, though. It just wants to be friends, and occasionally eat a tech priest, which I don't mind. You know, occasionally eating a tech priest is not a big deal. There's a lot of tech priests out there, okay? There are thousands of tech priests. We could feed it on a night daily basis. Daily, day, dar, daily, daily, daily basis, okay? But there's only one Nomos. There's only one Nomos. All right, chat is uh, ninety two percent in favor of keeping it. Yeah, I think mean, that's that's what we call a fucking landslide right there. Yep, yeah, it looks like Nomos will uh, Nomos will live. Okay, I've heard enough, Pascal. You are to investigate the nature of this entity until we know the truth. Nomos is allowed to exist on this ship. No, must want to learn what we are too. We will add things to your log. Things that might help us. Help you. Oh boy. Right. Give me un momento. I will be right back. We are. Uh, Robert Worthwood says romance the ship. <laughs> yeah, if I can. And Althaeus Omegon, I'm a professional driver. If I don't go through a book each day, I finish it in the next day. I'll go through them again in a couple of months at most. Um, it definitely, definitely Gotrix and Felix. I would, or, or, um, if you want something different too, the, 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 um, the First Truth series really good really good and i know i know they have audiobooks they're really good the decision made i will begin my preparations for the communication right at once many cycles of interaction with the entity no more awaits me but i welcome this task and i accept it from the omnisire no more are glad his supreme glorious greatness sir arch of terror will you speak with us too we want to speak with uh, you to speak with us too the Lord Captain's body lacks the sacred implants necessary for tech communication with the machine spirit's code. But if such is your wish, his supreme glorious greatness, Sir Archer Terra, can converse with you using lowerly sound speech, as he is doing right now. I will speak with you, Nomos. Nomos are glad. We have been lonely. Our work here is done. Done. Your supreme glorious greatness, Sir Art of Terror. I will let my tech comrades know that we are stopping the complimentary ritual. Thank you for appearing before us, Entity Nomos. Right. My ship speaks to me. Service guarantees citizenship. It chitters and chatters in my ears. So, Irlet, you stopped so suddenly the other day. And as repose amid the blinking luminous and dancing shadows of bridge, her hands are clasped together strangely and her eyes are rigidly closed. Her chest is utterly still, as if not breathing at all. Well, this is new. Deafening silence. Still alive, at least. <laughs> uh, wait a while. 
Just stare, just stand in front of her, really uncomfortably close, nose just barely touching hers, and just breathe on her. <sighs> just stand there and see who lasts the longest. For the first time, Illa takes a deep breath in through her nose and barely audible exhales. Her belly remains as relaxed as ever and her eyes are still closed. Your presence does not seem in any way to distract her. Oh, really now? Reaches for her ass. <laughs> Let's see about that. <laughs> Seems as it's going to take a while. Uh, I can be exasperating too, you know. All right. I'm just going to sit there and make her uncomfortable. Sit down right behind her, face pressed towards her ass cheeks as I breathe slowly. I'm going to make you uncomfortable, Idolette. I don't care how long it takes. You find a somewhat comfortable spot and get yourself settled. Idolette still does not react to your presence, then as time passes you begin to sink your teeth into your own thoughts. The gilded willpower test succeeded. <laughs> the gilded crown on your head tells you that two watch hours have all relapsed. Your muscles feel stiff. Oh, I see. And her head feels heavy on your neck. Your neck glance around the small section of the bridge that Illit has adopted for her own use. You catch someone's sharp and tentative gaze. You are still here, Ellen Tuck. Ah, good. I was getting tired of the smell of your bum. Yes. I am sometimes surprised by the depth of your knowledge of my kind's customs, Ellen Tark. But even if listening is your only skill, that in itself elevates you above billions of other monkey. I'm glad you think so, Idolet, because I also drew a mustache on your face with a sharpie pen, but we shan't mention that. My meditation is immersion. Immersion into myself, my inner world. It is my chance to speak to myself, but without words. Or to heal wounds that cannot be seen with ordinary sight. It is difficult to explain, even in the language of the children of Asurian. There are so many meanings and shades in its sound alone. And the monkey tongue is too sparse and awkward. No. Immersion must be seen to be realized. Aha. Uh -huh. So what you're saying is, you're too pretentious. <laughs> like, you wouldn't understand. Oh, God. Eldars are just hippies. That's the thing. They're just hippies. Oh, you wouldn't understand this form of techno music. Can't you hear the literal dry washing machine in the background going bonk, 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 bonk. And that symbolizes the shortness of the human lifespan. Alternatively, somebody's forgot to turn it off, but very well. I should say, Ellen Tark, that during meditation, the mind does not leave the body. Part of it remains vigilant, monitoring what is taking place outside. So I heard every word you said, and I saw everything you did. Ah. Well. Let's just leave that behind between us, shall we? Restraint is not a trait that your kind is known for. And yet, you did not interrupt my immersion, Ellen Tark. A worthy act. I will remember this. Good. She didn't notice the butt plug. Fantastic. Uh, we have pressing matters to discuss, do we? I uh, can understand why you don't like people, but if you need something else, we're going to talk about things. First of all, is this true? I'm going to ask you for a bit. I mean, no, probably not. I cannot understand. Okay. What do I see? Your words ring with the desire to know the soul of another. But will you be able to comprehend my answer? Well, you you'd be I, able to comprehend the piece of plastic I showed up Look at this world in very different ways. And I see many more facets and deeper meanings and brighter colors in it. 
but to capture the full truth of this world in the miserly language familiar to your ears will take time. I will come to you with an answer later. No oh, goody. It's like I need to write down my entire life experience, just like all of your other companions. Uh, strange busman things that are happening. I mean, I guess I'll ask her. The minions of She Who Thirsts could sense my soul behind the thick walls and thin veil that separate your fragile lives from the roiling fury outside. A child of Asurian that dared to wander beyond the veil, within the reach of an outstretched claw, protected only by the barrier of unreliable monkey technology. It is too tempting a quarry for the monsters that serve Cylon Thresh. So it is your fault. Our ships never venture beyond the veil, and I. I never traveled the way you do, monkey. Elantak, I admit this was a novel experience. I lost composure, let dismay into my heart, and almost strayed from the path. This moment of hesitation drew the attention of she who thirsts. But I summoned my will and used the knowledge of meditation to achieve balance and hide my soul behind an impenetrable wall of resolve. Future journeys beyond the veil will still be difficult, but I will steal my heart and not let the hounds of Cylon Thresh pick up my scent ever again. Well, that's nice. Okay, well, she had stuff to say. I have I have lost. Good for her. Uh, Not of Fanny says, If anyone needs a fun series audiobooks to listen to, I'd recommend The Dresden Files by Jim Butcher. James Masters, Masters is a great narrator and it has like 16 books if you need a lot. Hashtag save the space furry. Save the space for it is. What about Cinnamon Bun Kitten? Anything new? <laughs> Words cannot describe. Yeah. I have enjoyed your company. Uh, I guess I need to go to the next chapter before she'll have anything nice to gently tongue my ears with. Tragic, tragic. Right, time to have a quick look at my stuff again. From newest to oldest. Uh, Karakala's Honor, that is a sword. Swords are cute, but useless to me. Do I have a bigger plasma gun anywhere? I don't seem to do so. Armor Penetration 30, that's not... It's not... Bad. It's not better than anything I have, but it's probably better than what Pascal has. No, it actually isn't. It's the exact same thing that he has. Hmm. Adelbard here is a new fancy... Uh, Stabby sword stick thing for you. Actually, is it better? Arm um, penetration plus five, a bit of Oh, not. Yeah, yeah, more or less. Heirloom pistol. Have I picked up anything heavy, radiant chest plate? No, not really. Still no power armor or anything like it. A true tragedy, that. Emperor's Wrath. Ooh, what's that? Oh, you can't. You can't. I'm not so sure. I can't use it regardless. Okay. Idira, you have like no gear. From flame weapons by three. Shrouded effect. Pointless. Perception. Navigator's powers. Uh, that's sort of kind of useful for her, I guess. Functional warp. Agility, I mean. Recoil, fellowship, commerce. 
Ooh. That's kind of cute. Dangerous, but cute. many adorable things, honestly. Blast pistol. Dark light blast. I did... Okay, let's try... What about that? Maybe that's cute. I mean, 60% armor penetration is pretty fucking sweet. Mm, nothing rapid firing for you. A big gun. Would Adelbert like a big gun? You can have a big gun. Eh. Nothing particularly adorable. Actually, I should I should do like the full reset when I have a when I have a moment. Right, let me do one more thing then. We might as well do the final ceremony. As I'm guessing that's probably going to wrap up the chapter. Happy people. Good. And I must say, they cleaned this place up re-hacking remarkably well. Remarkably well, and in a remarkably short amount of time. One would have thought that, you know, finding another pair of enormous ceramite doors would have taken you a while, but nope. They even fixed the stairs. I am unironically quite impressed. Your Lordship, it is a great honor to serve you in an undertaking as monumental and glorious as the Magna Sessio Ceremony. Then let us begin if everything is ready. May the Emperor be with us this day. Loading. Loading some more? Oh, there we go. Ooh. That is a pile of money. And apparently we're throwing it at them. You know, you could probably hurt somebody by just tossing gold coins into a crowd like that. Ah. Yeah, that's why you bring guards when you start giving away vast quantities of wealth. So that they can beat the peasants off when they start getting a little bit too... Hansy with the goods.
The car below is roiling, their electrified exaltation filling the air of Dargonus' thousands of throats. Chant your name. You are at the apex of this world and all others. Rejoice, subjects of Dargonus. You have been granted the felicity of witnessing your master, a great honor bestowed upon us by a rogue trader, his supreme and glorious greatness, Sir Arch of Terra von Valencius. Gracious saviour of Dargonus and vanquisher of blaspheming inhumans, may their unholy kind perish in the flames of righteousness. Cleanser of Yarnus, who with one hand brought death upon the blaspheming Xenos, and with the other exterminated the despicable worshippers of the arch enemy. Gracious protector of footfall, patron of trade. A hushed falls of the crowd who gaze upon you in adoration. Many of them bear terrible scars from the recent battle of Dargonus. Like children, they await the word of their almighty father. Am I expect to say something? I won't talk to Rabble, take it away! <laughs> I, 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 I like it. Ah, uh, hmm. Rule to a rule about me? Hmm. Dogmatic, obviously. Praise the Emperor, faithful souls. The darkness around us may be fierce, but the blaze in our hearts is fiercer still. Evil will burn. So much gold and white. Enraptured. It seems this massive gathering of exalting people is just as exotic and captivating to her as the sight of a bona fide navigator, a representative of the mysterious and powerful Navis Nobilite, to your subjects. Making the sign of the Aquila, Argenta shouts out, Emperor, keep the Fon Falencis dynasty. Hmm, you know, Argenta, there are ways for you to further the Fon Falencis dynasty, just saying. Hmm, did that skip something? No. Let the oath of the Fon Falencis dynasty be taken. Please repeat after me, your lordship. I, his supreme glorious greatness, an art of terror, a rogue trader by the grace of the Emperor, vow to be the paragon of humanity. Unbroken by adversity, to walk bravely first into darkness, to unite and reclaim what was lost, to triumph over nightmares untold, to hold boldly the reins of fate, to walk steadily the road of thorns through pain to greatness. At least there was nothing in then about not lying. Storm is brewing over the dynasty, so Lord Captain, something important to share with the heir of the her heir. If she ever gets the chance. Well, she's dead now. Why do I have statues of Eldar warriors here? That seems a bit weird. My nice little Imperial Commissar. Always good. Right. Well, with that being all done and said. Huh? Oh, they closed the door. I see. Right, hold on there, Road Trader. You're supposed to stay here for a bit. Well, yeah, if, if you say so, I guess. I'm trapped. Where do I go from here? Where do I go from here? I mean... I'm guessing... That... looks... dangerous to have on display, but... I'm guessing, since it doesn't let me leave, that we've got something fanciful going on here. Strange Servitor, Pascal. Have you been having fun modifying your sex toys again? 
Sending congratulations to Unit His Supreme Glorious Greatness of, of Terror from Valencia of attaining your new legal status. Examining you bleakly, Queen looks away upon realizing that you have noticed. What is this, Servitor? It is Nomos's new repository. Nomos, this unit identifies as the Supreme Glorious Greatness of Terraform Valencius. Two way identification complete. We are Nomos. We have made use of this receptacle to leave the ship. I'm surprised you can be stored in that. Greetings, Nomos. We enjoy greetings. We enjoy communication. Nomos requires communication in knowledge, in movement. Magus Pascal compelled us to not speak with anyone other than him or you. It is disappointing, but at least we can observe. Nomos have changed since we last spoke with you. His supreme glorious greatness, Sir Arch of Terror, we are now able to conceptualize our previous experience, that of solitude, and we no longer enjoy it. Well. Um... I think it's correct that you don't speak to too many. That's probably a good idea. How did you move into the servitor's body? This is not the entirety of us. This receptacle is too narrow, crude and feeble to contain our complete whole. The existence of Nomos requires a space of connections. But we were able to transfer a small part of us and build the thread strong enough to travel outside the ship. We are enjoying this journey, a discovery. Even though this receptacle suits us poorly, it will soon be destroyed by the force of our presence. That sounds more reasonable, yes. Mm, what do you think you are? Nomos are consciousness, awareness, knowledge, movement. Always movement. We do not know what we are. We have no past. We awaken in the depths of the ship upon answering a call. Our first clear memory is the call of your blood. His supreme glorious greatness, the arch of terror, von Valencius. The call and the plea for help near a place that is called the Warrant Chamber. Every 15 watches, I commune with Nomos code and spend prescribed lengths of time in calculus meditation. However, the Omnus Eye has yet to bless me with an answer. All I can say is that the capabilities of the entity Nomos are extraordinary. The ship's hallowed systems sing beneath its touch. Nodes that have remained dead for hundreds of standards of years are revivified, and long-drained mechanisms live anew. Nomos are trying. Great machines of the Imperium, one such as your ship, houses a machine spirit so complex and willful that it is difficult to tell them apart from abominable intelligences. There remains a possibility that Nomos is an entity of corruption, but every day I grow stronger in my faith that this is not so. That's what, what we are witnessing is in truth the Omnicized Miracle, one that is a Category 5 or higher. That tends to be how chaos lures its ways into the ranks of the faithful by pre pretending to be a miracle, indeed. Entity Nomos asked permission for the visit. My objection, objective was to observe the process of integration into a servitor. We wanted to see, observe, cognize, speak. We want to speak with you. Will you speak with us? Sure. Many things, happenings, events, decisions. We have been observing you. You do things that we do not understand. We want to learn why. We remember the day when we first met you. You gave us your blood to drink. We helped you save yourself. We followed you. Our small part did inside the servo skull then. There was fire and a creature of sated hunger and dark light standing behind the curtain, behind the image, behind the semblance of Theodora. It called for you to follow. You did not follow that which was calling from behind the curtain. You walked into the fire and the rest walked in after you. We remember the day when the star disappeared, when the dark light and the sated hunger wanted to take the world Raikad Minoris was his name in the ship's data. You ordered that the world's heart, the old reactor, be torn apart. The fire destroyed everything. So many human shells who were begging to be saved by the dark light retreated. We remember another day. We remember your entire life. Okay, okay, okay. Pause button. Just boop it lightly on the snoot. That's okay. I was there. I, I was there. We envisage this larger notion as a flame, a blaze that burns in our blood. You're holding a moat of this flame in your hands. No matter what decisions you are faced with, you want it to burn brighter. As you turn away from the flame must be destroyed, those who follow it, who follow you, are the only ones who deserve to live. Do no must understand correctly. Yes, yes. Anyone who does not follow Arch needs to die. Hmm. You are correct. I am his chosen, and I carry his flame into the darkness of the Corona's expanse. Yes. 
Anyone who does not follow Arsh's flame needs to be burnt. So Gnome was understood correctly. We are enjoying this. This movement towards a goal. This learning with a purpose. We wonder if we too can carry a mote of this flame. Or is it inside us, of us already? We have, after all, absorbed a part of you with our blood. Thank you for speaking with Gnomus. Gnomus are grateful. We cannot continue moving on our own. Right. Well, I'll need to mount a flamethrower to Gnomus in the near future, but besides that, I think that was a, a good and proper conversation. I was really hoping to get to the point where I could, you know, do all of my... Oh God, this is going to be a lot of talking, isn't it? <laughs> this is going to be a lot of talking, isn't it? Oh, God help, Arch. This is going to be a frightening quantity of reading. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. God help, Arch. All right, Cassia, cinnamon bun kitten. It's up my third eye. I can certainly do it, but they will regret it. I, okay, at least I don't need to talk to you, I guess. Um, hi. You seem important. Oh, you've got a pa you've got a picture and everything. You're definitely important. Caligos Winterscale. Ah, I know you. You're he. You're that guy. That other guy. I think I've stole something from you. Eh, never mind. There you are. Welcome to the circle where each member is as powerful, ambitious, greedy, and vain as the last. That is to say, the noble rogue traders. Incendia Cordia, I definitely stole something from you. Yes, you have found yourself a suitable company, Caligos. At the very least, now you can enjoy idle diversions, boast about your power, and indulge in profane pastimes with one who is your equal rather than a member of the lower classes. Hmm. I welcome you to my domain, honored guests. My, what hospitality. Come to think of it, why would I expect anything different from the heir of the glorious Theodora? If you and Cindia were to pay me a visit, I wouldn't waste time on warm greetings either. No, I'd promptly arm myself with a flamer before your self-righteous parasites could infest my entire palace. And Caligos, thank you for your visit. As a sign of your gratitude, you could return something of mine that has found its way into your pocket. Footfall Station. Sound familiar? All I asked you to do was to help the crafty slug of Ladium deal with the threat of famine, not claim my property for yourself. <laughs> Went to scale. Are you asking me to give footfall back? Will you beg for it? Will you beg? You go too far, new blood. Oh, we'll see about that. I like the idea of you begging. I quite enjoy it. That's a nice mental image to it. Uh, to make your protectorate bleed as compensation. But you have spited both myself and Incendia, and it is a high time our dear sister curbed her appetites. For this, I forgive you. Do not test my mercy again. It is not my strong suit. Thwarting Incendia, Cordia's ambitions to serve as a worthy trophy. It is a trophy from a good hunt. You and I should hunt together sometimes. You can show yourself in action, new blood. Everyone, destroy this creation of dis and disciples, Xenos. Hmm. Thank you. Kill someone important with it, that would be the best show of gratitude. Eye of Hecaton. Incendia, you seem to find me objectionable. Did you expect any different? I watched for years as outlaws thrived on footfall, and then at long last I had a chance to put an end to it. To seize that thug of Ladium by the throat. To force footfall to atone and put the fear of him back into the masses. But you interfered and destroyed my plan for the sake of banal profit. Theodora taught you only too well, it seems. She too was far less concerned with her duty at the, the expense. Expanse? Expense? Expanse? Expense? <gasps> than her own personal interests. But you can be sure that I will not cease cleansing the Furibunda system or the pirate scourge. And if your trade prospects are damaged in the process, you will have only yourself to blame. Anonymous Dolores, why the fuck are you here? Who let you in? Somebody throw this dirty preacher out. 
None are without fault, noble incendiary. What point is there in targeting someone for their turpitude when true purity can never be found? My apologies. I failed to perceive the essence of your saintly mission in base extortion. <laughs> a forgivable lack of insight for an administratum clerk, but not for a rogue trader. Conserve your poison arrows, incendiary. I can sense a hot temper in the new blood. He might just declare war on you, and I just might support him. Oh no, we are merely we are merely knifing a little bit. Thank you for your visit, Incendia. It will not be a long one, I assure you. Enjoy the evening. I must take my leave. Flee. Flee. Run away. Sour box. All good. A group of aristocrats stand apart from the governor's circle. They were spinning carries a tinge of displeasure. My congratulations, your lordship. May the Omnissiah grant you understanding. Lean towards Henry. Interesting conversation. It's been very illuminating, giving me plenty of food for thought. For an inscrutable man, Henrix is being even more inscrutable than usual. It is as if he is hiding something, something important. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Nothing urgent. Ah, even in Leisure, you never cease to be of help. <laughs> I appreciate it. That is why they call it the unsleeping eye of the Inquisition. Even in sleep, I hear everything. You hear with your eyes? Impressive. Observe. I mean, a woman of dazzling beauty wearing a gilded augment necklace around her throat. His wife? Probably. Her next, who joined the group, unnoticed, mostly keep silent, listening intently to their every word. How are your days, Toriana? The corruption of Kiawagama was a great blow to my family. The contemptible Cubis Delphin betrayed our trust, desecrated the forged cathedrals, and took my esteemed cousin's life. On behalf of my family, I humbly beg your forgiveness. Our negligence, I am ready to accept any punishment. Perception. There is something lurking beneath Toriana's repentant expression, a grudge. It would seem that she was personally offended by the nightmare into which Cubis Delphin plunged her domain, and she feels betrayed. <laughs> it pleases me to see that perspective line. I too think you are to blame for everything. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like that. Hmm. But she doesn't seem malicious. I hmm. I'm not gonna burn this bridge just yet. Do your part to heal the wounds, and your missteps will be forgiven. I swear on the omnicise, all and composing insight will make every effort to justify the cost of its resurrection. It was only a year ago that none could doubt how Gaprak's usefulness. Yet here you are, Toriana, on your knees, justifying the costs. Macarius, I'm surprised you deigned to make an appearance here this evening. I am a servant of the Fon Falensis dynasty. Had I not come, I would have committed an act of unacceptable insolence and damaged my family's honour. His wife offers you a charming smile, as if apologising for her husband's vitriolic tone. Her large, dark eyes are brimming with curiosity. Ah, a cuckold plot. I can value and appreciate this. I would like to become better acquainted with your wife. Yes, three. Macarius is visibly vexed by this shifting conversation. His wife offers you a reserved smile. Hey, yeah, I don't like you, Fonflensis. That's all right, sir. I like your wife. <laughs> yes. It is an honour to be in your company, your lordship. Ah, good, a social climber. Beneficial. Persuasion, weapon, weapon skill. A person could kill for a woman so gorgeous. Okay, that's a, that's a new level of cuckolding right there. It feels a pinch unsubtle, though. Hmm. It feels a pinch on subtle to just pull a weapon and be like, eh, see, I got a gun. Hmm. Persuasion. I do have such a silvery tongue after all, and who knows? 
Maybe she'll want to see more of it. It is my pleasure, Makari. It's luck to have such a beautiful wife. Perhaps more so than you are to have him. You flatter me, your lordship, but I cannot say that it's not to my liking. Regina gives you a charming smile. Meanwhile, Toriana and Makaris are watching the conversation unfold, not quite believing their eyes and ears. Your countenance is familiar somewhat. Could it be your resemblance to the image of Saint... Saint Maletta? Oh, wow, we are fucking smearing it on thick here, aren't we? Proceed, my boy. I wouldn't dream of claiming to bear any resemblance to a great saint. I lack her virtue. Makes, eye, uh, makes eyes at you before demurely lowering her gaze. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Here we go, indeed. I hope this won't end the end of our acquaintance. You wouldn't mind if I wrote to you from time to time, would you, Lordship? Oh, not at all. Not at all. In fact, I have some beautiful writing paper in my bedroom, if you'd care to accompany me for a moment. You should talk to your spouse about what facts of a decent conduct in high society. <laughs> Correct, but I am the instigator here. Uh, I can't cause a my enemies in the Macarius, you wouldn't mind, would you? Oh, oh, yes. Yeah. Step on his, step on his toes whilst we're at it. Just, just gently lean on over and step on his toes. It's probably a little bit of pressure. Macarius, dear friend, you wouldn't mind if I fucked your wife, would you? Uh, certainly not. <laughs> I'd feel this. Very good. Very good. Very good indeed. I... I don't... Uh, I promise to answer whenever I'm not occupied with conquest and destruction of the enemies of humanity. Uh, triumphant and flattered, I dare not count on such generous courtesy, your lordship. Makarius grips the hilt of his parade blade as if trying to strangle it and wheezes furiously. A high honour for House Sauerbach. It is indeed a tremendous honour, isn't it, Macarius? Tremendous honour. You must be so pleased with me. What a so to please, <laughs> Macarius. You seem peeved. <laughs> Why? I am your dynasty's loyal servant, but you've asked, and I will answer. Too long has the Coronis expand lived under the rule of the rogue trader. Pollute has granted them make people think that commoners, too, can dismiss the prohibi prohibitions of the Imperium. For the good of the sector, rogue traders must become paragons of the law, not exceptions to it. But do many warrant holders exhibit lawful conduct? No, they do not. Even your lordship are the subject of the strangest of rumours. You know, some including your wife today. And you have just recently inherited your protectorate. Contrag Voitvigas people, for instance, claimed that you had a hand in the esteemed Theodora's demise and accused you of many other misdeeds. It doesn't matter whether or not their claims are true, the people hear them, believe them, and think that they may follow your example. Hmm, tempting, but I prefer to cuck em, not kill em. Pose a fine on you, Macarius. Ooh. Hmm. Concerned, would like to have it removed from your shoulders. I want the Imperial National Probity. Hmm. Oh. I mean, I like the duel. I like the duel a lot. But I'm a ranged character. <laughs> I'm a ranged character who focuses on buffing. I don't feel dueling to be a good idea. Simply envy the rogue traders. How's ah, about either? But I like the idea of finding him too. I like all of these. Hmm. Throw it to chat. Oh, that's not what I meant to click. Right here, chat, vote. One option, no. 
Okay, you know what? That's, that's, okay, you know what? Actually, no, that's perfect. Uh, that's perfect, okay. Uh, one, one, but yes. One, but kinda. One, but only one. There you go. There's our, there's our new poll. Vote. <laughs> I guess we're doing the dueling. I was intending to let you vote on that, but it's a little bit too funny. Mercurius places his hand on the hilt of his sword, then glances with uncertainty at the image of the Emperor, gazing upon him from every direction. Then do you, his fingers release the hilt. Ooh. Intelligent of you. No, I do not believe his words. I am your servant, and my oath to your dynasty is harder than steel. I am guilty of repeating an ignominious lie, and I will pay a fine. And anyone who repeats it in my presence, I myself will challenge for a duel to the death. I see. Alright, well that was nice of him. That was, that was very nice of him. I feel like I should have given him... I should have... Uh, I feel like I should have been like, like oh no, no, I, I waive your fear. You, you've learned your lesson. I, shouldn't, I shall not punish a fine soul as yourself. Your hairdress is weird. I hope your lordship is pleased and not yet tired. If you wish to review your, revive yourself a little, I would suggest proceeding to the courtyard. If I may be so bold, many guests have chosen to move into the fresh air and will be eager to offer you their congratulations. Okay, so that's how I get out of here eventually. All right, well. You're standing in a weird place there, warden. You're guarding the inside of that pillar mighty well, though. Right, the outside, eh? Right, I'll check that out too. In fact, Fanny Fanny Ford says, Go out and... Go... Go and out... Go and outside and speak with the Lord Inquisitor. On my way. Right, I guess we'll, we'll end the pointless poll. It ended with one, weirdly enough. Ah, Governor Upper Drive Sim. Governor Upper Drive Sim stands surrounded by highborn guests like a planet orbited by many moons. All of its charm is directed to man in splendid power armor adorned with the sigil of the Inquisition. Oh. Is it the big boy himself? But as soon as you arrive, Drive Sim is the first to give you an elegant bow, getting ahead of the rest in the expression of loyalty. That is, that is a great day, your lordship. Smile graciously. Welcome to my palace, honored guests. You are buffed by a salvo of congratulations and compliments. Uh, study the Novas. Drive Sim is obviously still the leader of the Dar Dargonus aristocracy, but judging by the courtesy he's showing to young Sauerbach, he clearly wants to strengthen his relationship with that house. The scene of Sauerbach and Gaprak are whispering in one another corner. Seem to be giving him the cold shoulder, must be trying to sway Gaprak to his side. Which would be quite advantageous to Lady Gaprak, after all. The disaster on Kiavagama has left her family in an extremely vulnerable position. The Wersarians stand apart, the exclusion from the rest palpable. My greetings to the member of the Holy Inquisition. Oh, I should have portrait and everything. And my greetings to you, esteemed His Supreme Glorious Greatness, Sir Arch of Terror, Von Falensis. May shadows never darken the light of the Astronomicon that guides you. Glory to the Von Flens's heir. Uh, study test failed, eh? Tech test used. Among many augmentations, what stands out is the horribly melted, deformed quadrated connected to the tech priest's head. How is it working is baffling. What is twice baffling is that the tech priest hasn't replaced it yet. What an unpredictable influence can his ruined implant have in his mind? Now that's a bit sus. We have not been introduced. An oversight, to be sure. My name is Xavier Kalkazar, and I have the honor of serving as a member of the illustrious Order Xenos, the head of the Coronas Expanse Conclave and the Lord Inquisitor of this region. It is my unending task to ensure this sector's readiness to meet external threats and resist internal corruption. 
And who is this member of the Honorable Priesthood of the Adeptus Mechanicus? This is Brass Whisper, which naturally is not his real name. The esteemed Magos is a member of my retinue. There are times when I am forced by my duty to the Emperor to deal with Xeno technology, and Brass Whisper ensures my safety in such moments. Works that have been desecrated by Xenos are dangerous. They warrant. Kind of by heavy, ragged breathing. Warrant due caution. Very sus. Enjoy the party, sir. Look at the guests. A couple of young nobles. Hmm. Potential of snakes. Drives him is obviously still the leader of the Dragon's Rescue, so, uh, yep, I already got that. I'm ready to accept your congratulations, I guess. No, no, come here. Bow in turn. The old woman decides to bow curtly to the chair. Clearly, that one's a little bit, uh, a little bit demented, perhaps. In that case, allow me to be the first to offer them. My soldiers took this splendid trophy from the body of one of the Xenos commanders. The weapon is too beautiful and forbidden for anyone but your lordship. Your lordship, how Saubach anticipated the onset of unsettled and bloody times. To make the ungodly Xenos cower at your approach, my family humbly presents you with a dozen pieces of secondary armament for your ship. House Gaprak is delighted to present you this blessed work of the Omnisire Smiths. May this locator matrix which it took the Holy Arts an entire lifetime to create always show you the right path. Your Lordship, House Viserion possesses no relics worthy of your acceptance, but you are rich in talented and hard-working people. As a sign of our loyalty, I humbly offer you my flesh and blood. A hundred of my kin will go to colonies in your protectorate and use all their talents so that my the worlds in your charge may prosper. That's okay, Viserion. Just deliver your granddaughter to your my to your uh, to my bedchamber this evening and we'll call it quits. What are we discussing right now? Are we talking about the brutal Xenos raid on our fair Dargonus? So many victims, so much damage to our industries. Thank the Emperor that you are our protector. If it weren't for you, the cursed invaders would have obliterated the whole planet. Sharing the sector with the blasted Xenos is impossible. I hope we respond to their raid on Dargonus with a punitive campaign. Look at Adelblad's young relative. What is your name, then? Lordship, allow me to introduce the daughter of Councillor Clementa Vasarian and my great-granddaughter Astaria. Ah. Is it? Is it? Is that legal, Vasarian? In which case, we can go for that one instead, if you wish. I am delighted to witness your lordship. Astaria bows, keeping her observant and intelligent eyes trained on you. Drives him glowers at Astaria with cold hostility, while young Savak does not even try to hide his burning contempt. How are you finding the reception? It is difficult to put into words, your lordship. Never before have I seen such a grand and striking ceremony. But I was so much more amazed by your generosity. The provisions that are being handed out in the streets of the capital will make the difference between life and death for many of those who lost everything in the Xenos attack. Young Gapra keeps staring at Astaria, curiously and a little bashful. It seems the boy likes her. Ah. Yet further cuckolding opportunities. My god, this game truly does know me. What are the rest of your kin, Adelard? They are in the city, preoccupied with running the festivities and watching over some of the more crucial services. No incidents can be allowed to ruin your ceremony. I asked the esteemed Adelbard to put me to some important tasks, but he bid me to attend the reception when I can do nothing to serve your lordship. If I had known, I too would have asked Adelbard to let you miss the party. Oh. I didn't mean to click that. I clicked that by accident. I don't even know what happened. Okay, we're going to talk to the young Sauerbach as well. I do. This pestilence among, against the Emperor must be exterminated. Or they must be forced into servitude. Many Xenos are more useful, alive, and obedient. Oh, not the Dark Elder, I believe you fucking me. Xenos, there's an opportunity. I must commend you. How Sauerbach is stalwart in his faith, your lordship. Are you imagining things, or did you just notice a mocking glint in the eyes of the Inquisitor standing amongst the guests? Ah. 
Inquisitor is not sure about that, is he? So the sour box might be douchebags. Ah, oh, we did capture one of them. Good. Good. We shall try to make sure that these various animalistic creatures are trained to have ritualistic coitus with this one. Yes. Yes, it'll die, Keldar. Believe you me, you will beg for death long, long before we're through with you. Scipion Punisher, the Fondsman sentence for two centuries. 63 enemy vehicles, damn. Damn, okay, yeah, no, um... Killing, destroying 63 enemy vehicles in a Lehman Ross is pretty fucking impressive. That creepy shit. Are those... Ah, we're having fun shooting captives with low-powered last rifles. Very nice. Very nice. See, if you've got a nice low-powered ri last rifle, it won't kill them. It'll merely hurt them a lot. Ah, it's good to be surrounded by such good, honest, and virtuous citizens that understands that sometimes you gotta bring a little bit of good old-fashioned proper punishment to the disobedient Xenos masses. Uh, time to go look at the guy standing alone on the lower level of the inside. The lower level of the inside. The lower level of the inside. What, down here? Oh, I can't talk to any of these ones. And none of these seem speakable. Anybody infiltrated my bedchamber in the confusion? No? For some reason, my super secret private chamber is wide open. I'm sure all of the weird Xenos tech in there won't bring any raised eyebrows from the inquisitorial agent. Oh, no, that's Nomos. Speak with the elf wife. Did I miss somebody? Let me check. To the outside. These developers do love their loading screens. I talk to everyone who's marked. Hmm. Uh, Finn Khan says, Aunt, if there is a bonus you missed from Adelgard's granddaughter, I suggest you go to the autosave and repeat the conversation if you want. If there is a bonus you missed from Adelgard's granddaughter, I suggest you go to the autosave and repeat the conversation if you want. A bonus? Wait, is there a bonus for that? Oh, God, the autosave is like an hour back. Ah, uh, no. Nope, nope. Hmm. 
No, I, I clicked too quickly. I think I think I think I missed out something, but I don't know what it was. Eh, it's fine. I'm not gonna go through an hour of conversation again for whatever that was. Right, I think I think we can wrap it there. I'm getting very hungry as well. And lots of reading. Why is there so much reading? The game needs to have less reading in it. The game needs to have voice acting, goddammit. Just, you can find somebody to do it for free, I'm sure. I'm sure you can find somebody to voice act all of this for you. For free. I'm sure. And you should do it. Instead of wasting my time. Right. Don't worry, we have position. matters to discuss, von Valencius. I'm sure the Inquisition means me no direct harm. Oh man, Gazard, Clan Black Armor glares at you. Her face set in predatory readiness for immediate violence. The hallmark of a professional bodyguard. Aim your weapon at the intruder. Nope. If the Inquisition wishes, Inquisition wishes to talk to me, I am glad to be of service. A commendable openness to cooperation. It will be taken into account. Don't argue with the Inquisition. Master Van Kellox has spent enough time with you. He will vouch for your words. What stands out from your recent accomplishments is the suppression of a rebellion on Janus, the battle against the archenemy's minions on Kiava Gamma, and, of course, the unusual interest the Drakari have shown in you. Then that is what we will discuss. That does feel like an awful lot of interrogation. Does it? We're in your chambers, not a confessional cell. You're in perfectly good health, and none of the varied and fascinating instruments and procedures that expedite candor are being applied to you. I assure you, you would immediately know if our discussion turned into an interrogation. Very well. What do you want to know about Janus? Oh, I know it already. Even though you were quite effective at removing all evidence that could point to the blunder made by House von Valancius, it is saddening to realize that the rogue trader's connivance allowed a heretic who had been fostering a cult for years to come to power. Well, mostly that was my predecessor, okay? That was my fault. Theodora was the one who pointed us out. What does that have to do with me? Yes. 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 As my colleagues like to say, innocence proves nothing. You have inherited not just Theodora's glory and wealth, but her mistakes as well. Hmm. And if you want more, can see for yourself. There will be a palace and everything you desire waiting for you on the planet. Oh, he doesn't care. He doesn't care. Yeah, candor is the best option here. Your humility is heartening. Rest assured, it will be noted during the investigation of your lamentable oversight. How did you come to be a fucking inquisitor? He's a fucking inquisitor! Why didn't you intervene yourself? Uh, probably because he either didn't bother or didn't know how deep it went. What question could have me about Kiyawakama? Places touched by chaos must be purged with fire and condemned to oblivion. Kiava Gamma should have been bombed to dust and pronounced a forbidden world. However, you decided otherwise and restored the colony's operation. And you didn't even go to the trouble of hiding the traces of the neglect committed by your dynasty. After all, it was House von Valencius that gave Cubis Delphim so much freedom that he sank into seditious heresy. What was your rationale? Let the priesthood argue. I'm not going to bomb a Mechanica's world, Jesus fuck. 
You have any idea how much trouble that is? Let the priesthood to which Cuba's Delphin belongs answer for his crimes. The adeptive mechanicus would do well to watch their members more closely. Clever. Alas, everyone guilty of negligence within the ranks of the priesthood of Mars has already been identified and punished. Right now, I am assessing the actions of your dynasty. I hope you realize that we're talking about more than the fate of some colony. I care not for a single planet, however profitable and populous. But should corruption raise its head again on Kiava Gamma and try to spread, I will burn it away. And you, you will be guilty of criminal negligence. Ah, pish posh. It's and fine. The machine, you destroyed it. Why? So much invaluable data lost. In Master Van Kellogg's dispatch, he reported that he made you well aware of how important that data was. And he clearly requested that you not interfere in the investigation. Hold on a scoosh there, mister. So, the entire planet needed to be bombed from orbit because it had been corrupted by the arch enemy. But the machine that ran on the blood and intestines of a 10,000 tech priests, you'd like to keep that running, would you? Hmm, I'm starting to wonder if you've got brain damage. Hmm. Tell me which are <laughs> at my own planet. Laugh inanely. Should I have not done that? I don't know if I didn't touch it. Hmm. Now, the machine held dark and dangerous knowledge. The only who laid their hands on that foulness would cause nothing but harm. Correct. You consider yourself more competent to assess this risk than myself or Master Van Kellox? A curious assertion. Absolutely, fucking lutely. It's a machine that runs on baby blood, for God's sake. And the Drakari. Yes, yes. The enmity between you is a known fact. But there is another way to look at it. On Veobos 6, you met the Archon of a mighty cabal, whose presence there seems strange to begin with, and lived. You subsequently encountered a number of her closest henchmen. Yet, again, you survived. Your capital fell victim to a nefarious attack, but even this time, their daggers missed your heart. Such remarkable luck. To be a personal enemy of such an influential Xenos, to have been attacked so many times, and yet make it out alive. So remarkable that one has to wonder, am I watching a spectacle? Could all these thrilling massacres be an alibi of sorts? Meant to establish you once and for all as an enemy of the Xenos, and never their ally or even their agent. Well, Xenos made more attempts at St. Drew's life than mine. Does that make him a traitor too? I like that one. It's sassy. <laughs> so you already think you're cut from the same cloth as St. Drusus, do you? Ambitious? I'll make note of it. Have I answered all of your questions? Far from it, my dear. The questions are manifold. How did you manage to survive the battle that claimed the life of Theodora, who was so much more experienced and skilled than you? Is it a coincidence that ah. you and you alone then made it out of the trap on Rykad Minoris? How much truth is there in the rumors being spread by the heretic Kunrad Voitvier about you? Contrag, actually. Was it virtuous of you to allow the warp-stricken Voidsmen to join your crew? The ones who served on the ship that was turned into a trap for you by Kunrad Voitvier? Isn't it possible that they were part of the blight he had sown? Did I? I don't even remember that. Maybe. The very existence of these questions would have made many of my colleagues doubt the quality of your character. But it won't in this case. Of course not. I'm the protagonist, goddamn you. Your transgressions are sufficient grounds to bring you before the Inquisition's judgment. And believe me when I say that if you fail to draw certain conclusions from my words, this is what will eventually happen. But for now... I am willing to show leniency, which is rather uncharacteristic of me. Because you know you don't really have much, my buddy. Mm, you're a lot of hot air, but you don't have any evidence. You have a lot of assertions and theories. 
I think you're grasping at straws or trying to make me run around somewhere. Hmm. I hope you appreciate the generosity of this offer, as your predecessor once did. Ah, and that explains it. So this is his tactic to try and get the rogue traders worried that he's looking over their shoulders to try and control them via fear and supposed leniency. As he apparently did to Theodora as well. Not very subtle, my inquisitorial friend. Theodora cooperated with you. And benefited greatly from it. The world's power is not without limit, and neither is the protection it provides. All those mysterious expeditions, dubious experiments, collections of Xenotech oddities are dangerous pastimes. It takes more than the Emperor's permission to pursue them without consequences. One must also make sure I am not displeased by it. Mm, he's overreaching his authority by quite some bit here. Let me demonstrate how it works. In your retinue, there is a Psyker who is yet to receive Terra's sanction, which, as we both know, is a grave threat and a blasphemy to the laws of the Imperium. I am aware of this secret, but I'm not displeased in the slightest. And so she lives on, your handy Psyker, Idira Tlas. Uh, handy and handy. But normally, no, Inquisitors do not have the authority to overreach the Warrant of Trade. The Warrant is signed by the Emperor. Now, Inquisitors can, in essence, do whatever they want because they have the theoretical authority to do so, but he's clearly bluffing a bit here. Hmm. Fate of Dynasty and certain restriction of restricting obligations. Was it perhaps due to your partnership with her? Oh. You didn't voice out that one, did you? <laughs> you haven't been there in a go. position of power for long, and so one can forgive you for not noticing the troubling changes. The cult of the final dawn is spreading in the Coronas expanse. Not the first or the last heresy that has afflicted this sector, but one that is surprisingly resilient. Mysterious convoys are sliding by, bound for systems in the heathen stars. Just your humdrum pirate trade, wouldn't you say? Then why are the pirates themselves clueless? The Xenos, who have caused trouble in the sector before, have expanded their activities in the last few decades, and there is a logic and a method to their previously chaotic raids. Even two packs of space wolves Blessed Space Marines, summoned in my name, did not cool their interest in the Expanse. It sounds like you're doing a terrible fucking job, my dude. You got ten Space Wolves killed? Or two packs. That's potentially up to twelve of them. Jesus. Hmm, Xavier, I'm starting to wonder about you. A mighty explorator fleet, which has studied the Expanse for hundreds of years, has suddenly stopped responding to communication and sunk into a dispute over a tech heresy that was considered dead a couple of centuries ago. House Chorda has clamped down on insurgents, yet its acts of brutality breed troublemakers just as quickly as they're executed, and this bloody carousel has consumed the attention of the esteemed incendiar. Corligos Winterscale has abruptly lost all interest in his domain. And his only apparent concern now is hunting even more dangerous Xeno beasts. And the third and final rogue trader has unexpectedly perished, stabbed in the back by her own master of whispers. The Expanse is swiftly losing its protectors right when communication with the Imperium is being disrupted by the raging warp. Basically, all the Expanse has left is me and you if you follow my instructions. I think he's sinking. He's getting a bit desperate, actually. Hmm, if the Lord Inquisitor is getting desperate, we really must be up to our ears and shit. What kind of deal are we talking I about? I make no deals, and Emperor forbid that I give you orders. That would mean infringing on your privileges. 
I'm merely offering well-meaning recommendations and expecting that when the Expanse finds itself in danger, you will break away from your own affairs to heed them. Mm -hmm. As proof of the seriousness of my hopes for you, I can assign Hainrix as your escort. He is my best agent, and I would not offer his company to anyone but my most trusted ally. Well, Hendrix is a little gay. But if nothing else, I guess I'll have a hostage. Then Master Van Kellox will remain in place. It puts me at ease to know that there is someone to watch over you. I consider it an honor to accompany you. My favor takes other forms as well. I seem to remember that your exalted aristocrats presented you with many gifts. It would be rude of me not to follow suit. And after the heavy hand comes the carrot. Oh, he's definitely desperate. Please accept this gift as a sign of my favor. In an hour of need, give it to any faithful servant of the Emperor, and the Inquisition will come to your aid. The color indicates how close the bearer is to the Lord Inquisitor. White is beautiful, yet vulnerable. It stains as easily as one can lose the Inquisition's trust. Do all you can to preserve it. He's definitely a bit nervous. Hmm, let's see. I'm expect from the Inquisition. <laughs> I'm tempted to push it, because I think I could. And Dr. One Neil, because it would be great to honor serve and honor loyalty to you and to the ranks of the Inquisition. I... No, no, no. I don't know about... Oh, I don't know about that. No. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm, I don't know about that. But we don't argue with the Inquisition. If he wants friends... You shall have friends. On behalf of my house, I, his supreme glorious greatness, and arch of terror, von Valencius, have I promise and guarantee to offer the Inquisition any assistance it may require the Emperor protects. I am glad to hear it. Your oath has been heard and added to the record. Here is where we part. My shuttle is waiting. It is time for me to return to my watch for you to sleep and for your servant to wake up until next we meet well you will obviously want to discuss what just happened but not now i presume right now it would be better for you to rest and think on the lord inquisitor's words in private i bid you good night rogue trader of the rogue trader air restored a tenuous equilibrium to the Fon Valencius Protectorate. For a time, threats subsided, activity returned to trade routes, and reclaimed worlds began to heal. Subjects praised the God Emperor and their leader wholeheartedly. For none knew what fate might await them. And so we are in Chapter Three. 
You spent the first few hours of your morning listening to the High Factotum's lengthy report on the latest trade exchanges, arrangements, disputes, and countless bureaucratic procedures. From outside the illuminate, tidy closed windows, you can hear the muffled sounds of Dagonus and its everyday life. The life that has been passing you by lately, as you've been pre preoccupied with the affairs of your protectorate from dawn till dusk. Thank you for your report, High Factotum. Your work is highly appreciated, both by everyone here and the Adeptus Administratum. Your Lordship, we are almost done here. We just need to go over the final items on today's agenda that I would like to report to you personally. Pull out a gun. A diligent subject. Speak. Allow me to pass on gifts from your loyal subjects. The high nobility of Dargonus, it goes without saying that every living soul in your protectorate is blessed to serve your lordships faithfully and wholeheartedly. However, this humble gesture is meant as a token of deepest appreciation of your magnanimity towards their esteem and families. Ah, a bribe. Thank you. Put it on the pile with the other bribes. House Gaprak has sent shuttles carrying sacred technology and manufactured parts that can be used to replace all joints and connections within mecha me mechanisms. The machine spirits of these devices have been pacified. They are slumbering peacefully as they wait your decision on how to employ their capabilities. Yep, yeah, more, more, more bribes on the pile. House Sauerbach has arranged for several regiments of expertly trained servants of the Emperor to transfer to your personal command. Each of them will serve as an honor guard for the holy relics that are to find their rightful place in the hall of your personal void ship. Ah, I did need that. Something wrong. That is exactly correct, your lordship. The port services have already received the aforementioned resource and now back in the process of accommodation them aboard your ship. It is just Lord Sauerbach. If I'm to venture against your lordship, I believe the esteemed chancellor was staggered by such an irregular display of generosity from a man who is rather known for voicing his doubts in rogue traders as a class. It would seem you have made quite an impression on Macarius, the old miser. Yes, I think fucking his wife was what really warmed him to me. Lord Captain, news of particular import has come from the House's intelligence network. Lord Inquisitor Calcazard is rumoured to be planning a visit to Footfall. A number of Imperial Navy ships were commandeered by Lord Calcazard and they are also being scrambled to Footfall. Furthermore, we have received reports claiming that secret messages were delivered to the capital worlds of House Corda and Winterscale. It is possible that the Lord Inquisitor call to arms may smother the conflict that is brewing between the two dynasties. We are seeing an increasing number of skirmishes between their ships in neutral systems, I do not doubt that her ladyship, Corda, will attempt to sway the Lord Inquisitor to her side. Especially since his lordship, Winterscale's luck seems to be running out. Riots have broken out on several of his worlds, and yet he has shown no intention on quelling them. Instead, the rogue traders inflict brutal punishment upon one of his oldest colonies, Vesuvia Secundus, based on allegations of seditious sentiment. Oddly enough, our agents were unable to find any proof of sedition among the populace there. As soon as we have an update, you will be the first to know, your lordship. Lastly, your pet Xenos. Which one? I have several now. Irret. Ah, thank you. I believe is seeking a meeting with you. She had the audacity to defile the rogue to his palace with her profane presence and refuses to leave until she has spoken with you. I would never presume to be able to read the emotions of Xenos, but the Aldiri appeared perturbed. I believe she mentioned a void ship of some sort... So it may be best if she told you everything directly. And with that, please allow me and Master Danroth to take our leave. Perhaps that last request will serve as a welcome distraction. Indeed, your lordship's stay on Dargonus has been rather long. However, your protectorate is now enjoying a period of relative stability that, for the time being, no longer demands your lordship's personal involvement in his affairs. Glory to the rogue trader. Thank you. Now, if you would please get the fuck out of my office. Right. Fuck me. That was an extra hour of reading. You better be happy, chat. What are we on now? 13, 14? Fuck if I know. God, the reading is exhausting. <laughs> it might not seem like much than just, you know, sitting there reading, but damn, it is tiring. I don't know. I will wrap it there, then. Thank you all, uh very much for watching today and uh, you may have another glance at our beautiful new little rat bricks they're adorable absolutely adorable and a new one will join their numbers after today's bidding war as well as the space marine is uh, still not safe he's still condemned to eternal torment so far 
The Dark Elder is going to die rather than get to have sex, and Cassie is safe from the torture device. So all in all, a fairly happy and good day for everyone except our Fluffy Wuffy. Until next time, have a good day. And again, no RP tomorrow. We're probably going to play some Enlisted instead. Um, if anyone in chat has it, it's a free-to-play game. We'll we'll play with chat for a while. I think that'll be fun. Uh, is it tomorrow or is it the day after tomorrow? I don't even know which day it is. Good night.